Alright, what is up y'all? Welcome to Game Night, here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by a couple good friends. Hey, I'm Ken. One fellow. Alright, so tonight we have Batoku. Wait for it, wait for it. Designed by... Germán <laughs> Millán. And published by Devere Games. My accent was perfect on that, by the way, I would like to say. Uh, so, uh, big thanks to Gonzalo for uh, his copy of the game. I don't have Butoku. Um, so, without, without this, we, we wouldn't be doing this. So, a couple of caveats. Um, we're going to do a bit of an odd teach tonight, but it'll make sense once we get started here. Uh, because, well, well, you'll hear about that. Uh, other than that, really, I think that's it. Gorgeous artwork. Um, do you know who the artist is? Edu Valls. Who? Edu, Eduardo, Yes. Valls. Okay, there you go. Gorgeous artwork. It's kind of... Uh, Studio Ghibli. Kind yeah, of. there you yeah. go. That's it. I couldn't think of the word, but it's kind of inspired by, yep. if yep. you will. Yep. All right. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, this, I have yet to play this solo. Have either of y'all? I haven't. No? Now, I, I've seen I've seen the uh, the flow charts people have made to help with the solo game. I would like to tackle this solo at some point, but we have not. We've only I've only played it three. Yeah, actually, three for me. Yeah, three yeah. for both of us. And how about you? Me, uh, with testing probably more than ten times. Okay, because your name's in a rule book, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. So you're one of the players. Oh, but only at three players is what I meant. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. Uh, I've only done it. Yeah. But uh, have you played it? I two, played three, and four? two, three, and four. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, the game scales uh, pretty well. So without further ado, I know y'all are ready. Hopefully, y'all are ready. Oh, welcome everybody watching live around the world. Thanks for watching. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, Batoku, there is a plethora, Hefe, of things to look at. But before, a little bit of uh, setting, if you will. Long ago, in the time of our ancestors, during an epoch that mankind has since forgotten, a great spirit inhabited a forest. Its mere presence imbued everything with life, abundance, and peace. After its given time, the great spirit would go away, never to return. A Batoku spirit, worthy to take its place, would then arise to preserve the harmony of the forest. This primordial forest, millennia old, stretches from the earthquake plains to the foothills of the Akashi Mountains. The mountains are home to the source of the sacred river <sighs> Kurakugan, whose mighty flow traverses the forest before shooting out over the cliffs of Sikh's Claw. The forest has no other name. Indeed, all forests are called such after this one. It is one of the five hearts of the world, and it is said that in its deepest, densest regions, the trees and vegetation are so thick that lost souls who wander there are able to find, at last find peace and transcend to the beyond or become lost forever and cease to exist as the last memory of them is forgotten. There has never been nor will ever be a place like it. Magical and spiritual be beings inhabit it, remembered today only in legend and children's tale. That's beautiful. It mm. is. But it has nothing to do with the game itself. A little bit. Just a little bit. I, mm. <laughs> we can talk about that in the round table. All right. So, with that said, <laughs> what is it y'all are looking at? So, there is a ton of stuff here that y'all are looking at, okay? But here's how we're, we're going to frame it. You have the main board and different action spaces where we're going to be taking actions up here. Okay? You have a score track around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. We have a round track at the very top, which is actually, if you take a look, kind of that area with the cool looking, incredible rack on that creature. And then there is within the round, there are the different seasons. So the four different seasons that have to do with each of the four rounds that are in the game. Then below it, we have the turn order track right there. And then a plethora of other things out here. Then everybody has their own player board as well as their uh, deck of cards. It is a, in some small way, a deck builder mm -hmm. as well. Now, with that said, 
the first time that both Ken and I were in a learning game together in which we were taught the game. 20 minutes in, just, both, just sort of laughing. Yeah, because <laughs> at, 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 the, at, at the sheer quantity of information that yep. was being passed on to us. You all know me. I tend to like heavy games. Ken, mm -hmm. you tend to really like heavy games. Everybody do. in our group does. Yep. But it was comical. Yeah, our eyes were glazing over, and we were laughing like, <laughs> oh, God, wait, there's more? A lot of new words. However, what we realized is, oh, wait, game's not that hard. Hold on. No, this yeah. is this is not as hard as this very thick rule book leads you to believe. Now, here's why we're going to teach it the way we're going to teach it tonight, as well as to give you a little bit of flavor is the some of the things you're looking at. So we have building tiles, we have ancient building tiles, we have lake treasure tiles, we have crystal tiles, Matama spirit tiles, dragonfly tiles, we have pilgrims and kadama counters, we have yokai cards and also batoku cards, we have gate tiles, we have iwakura rock tiles. I mean, that's all. <laughs> There's also vision cards. I think I, I missed those. Yep. My my point is, it's just too much information on the front end. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you an overview and we're going to get started because you're going to realize, oh, the game's not that hard. Mm -hmm. So that's how we're going to do this. So we'll Kind of talk through it as we go. Probably. Yeah, 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 totally. Yep. So. Over at the top of the screen, I mentioned the round track. So the game takes place over four rounds, and then we go into a final scoring after the fourth round. Pretty simple on that. Within each of those four rounds, there's going to be four seasons. Those four seasons are spring, the awakening of the forest, then summer, the call of the guardians, then autumn, the reverence, and then winter, the repose of the forest. Let, let me go ahead and frame that a different way. In spring, uh, get your income and get a hand of cards. Then summer, the meat of the game. Autumn is going to be determining turn order. And then winter, get ready for the next round. Yep. There you go. All right. There are a lot of fancy words and a lot, whole lot of theme in the in setting in this game. But it so gets in the way of learning the game that we're going to simplify it for y'all. Four rounds, four phases in each round. So let's go ahead and briefly go over how the game plays. So as I mentioned, everybody has a hand of identical five starting cards of different characters. We're going to have four of these, or draw four, discard one, so you're actually going to have a hand of three of them. Mm -hmm. Then on your turn, after we have all done that, and then get our income, income is anywhere you see the open hand on your player boards, but after that, then we're going to take turns. We're going to play cards through our board. We're going to unlock our dice because our dice are our workers to then go out into the various areas out here on the board to place our dice to take actions. Then when those actions, we're going to be acquiring dragonfly tiles. We're going to acquire uh, Matama spirit tiles. We're going to acquire crystals. We're going to place buildings out here in the building locations, and we're going to acquire rocks that are going to help us for in-game scoring. Mm -hmm. All for the point, or all for the goal of scoring points. Points are little koi, not like being koi, mm -hmm. but koi fish. So there are two types of koi in this game. There are orange koi and there are purple koi. Orange koi, score now. Purple koi, score at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. If you screw that up, not the end of the world. Just know that yeah, right. I theor theoretically, most of it, you could probably score as you go along. Yes. Amazing. Okay. Yep. But nonetheless, what we're doing, we're playing cards to our tableau, unlocking dice, taking our dice, putting them out here to take actions, then eventually we'll cross the river with those dice, which will reduce the values of our dice, all for the goal of traveling on the path up here and uh, traveling on a path out here in our tableau, all to be able to get victory points. Yep. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. I kind of term this as Feld meets Lacerda. Mm. You get points for spelling your name correctly in this game. You get <laughs> points for everything, but everything is interconnected. And I mean interconnected very, very well, which makes me think of kind of a Vital Lacerda mm -hmm. game, but maybe not that complex. But that said, that's kind of the overview. I think we just go ahead yeah. And get yeah. started, right? Let's go. So, um, do you have uh, randomized... Uh, yeah, Schwazi? Yeah, Schwazi. Yeah, do we need dragonflies? 
Everybody needs oh to yeah, we, we do. We w uh, the last part of setup here, and actually also yeah, resources. we need a number of things. Yeah. So hold on, let's see. Two, 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 two. Wood and a or something. Let's see. Or one of each. Everybody gets a dragonfly, so you get a dragonfly. Uh, you get a dragonfly. I get a dragonfly. There we go. Everybody gets a dragonfly. Then everybody gets a random vision. Yep. We'll just take from here in the middle. Yep. You get one. You get one. I get one. And we're just going to play with these face up because <coughs> there's no reason not to. Mm. Then everybody has their starting five yokai cards. We get a wood, a jade, and a level one amulet. <coughs> and we all already drew our Iwakura props. Here we go. All right. Edward. Oh, thank you. All right. Jade. Jade, uh, a wood. Okay. Wood for you as well. A wood, a jade, and an amulet. There yeah, we go. The wood. Cool. Good. The wood. Yeah, there's just way too much. Yeah. Uh, it would be completely and totally and, overloaded uh, for y'all. Okay. So Schwazi ish. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Jess. All right, right? Here we go. And for the first one, we'll just go clockwise from there. Oh, look at that. It's like it knew. Yep. It's like it knew. All right. Cool. Easy enough. Now, the game, I could have set the board up sideways, but I kind of wanted to be able to present this to everybody uh, the way it's intended here. So we're going to shuffle up our hand of five cards. I need to bring the cameras up. Uh, over under glory to Rome's uh, <laughs> four and a half. This game can be nasty, I yep. think, and uh, we all hate each other, so that works. <laughs> um, so place your bets now. And uh, so, one, two, three, four. So this will be my draw there. And discard pile and goes you know what? Now that I think about up. it, I'm going to actually yes. put my vision cards there. Um, two, yeah, three, so. Four. And you know what? Let's do this. So here, starting cards. The important thing to note is they all have a symbol in the top corner, but they, you're also going to get a resource, when, or you're going to be able to do an action or get a resource at the bottom. Yep. So I have these four to choose from. So in Momoshi, I have Nizumi, which is going to allow me to build a building or select a crystal, uh, get extra resources, obviously a wood or a rock. We have Shin Ukami, which is going to allow me to get a dragonfly or a, help me out. That's a Kodama. Spirit. Kodama. Spirit. Uh, mi, uh, mi, uh, spirit? Something spirit. Yeah. Oh, God. No, it's going to bother me. It is a Matama spirit Matama. tile. Matama. And uh, Kappa allows you to travel on the path. Either there right? or there. So I'm going to definitely, I, you know what? Actually, I'm going to, oh, God, I'm going to have to discard one of these if I do that. So you know what? I'm going to keep these three. I'm going to go ahead and discard. Oh, God. No, I'm not. Nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna discard this one out of my hand. So, uh, discards. You know what? I'm just gonna put my discard way over here because honestly, it doesn't need to be on camera, but that's fine. So, with that said, uh, yeah, I'm up. Yeah, why don't we do this? So, we're gonna take our time for the first yeah. entire round, mm -hmm. and then after that, we'll cruise on through. So, Ken, take yeah, it so away. Yeah, so there's four actions I can take on my turn in theory. Yes. Right. I can play a card. Yep. I can play a die, but the die has to be unlocked in order for me to play it. Right. I can cross the river, but I have to have a die here or one of those spaces in order to cross the river. Right. Or I can pass. Right. So I'm not going to pass. I don't have any unlocked dice, so I'm playing a card. Right. And you can't don't have any dice out here, like you said, Correct. to cross the river. So there you go. Yep. Just a quick reminder: you can activate a die. Well, that's true by burning one of these guys. Yeah, burning right. one of these. And not literally by burning, but yeah. just discard out of the game. Yeah, I don't know what happens thematically. <laughs> but we're going to burn them. Yeah. Um, so it, there is a fire next to the pilgrim. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are our pilgrims. Some of them are awake. Most of them are asleep. Uh, I don't think I'm going to burn a pilgrim right, right this second. That, that seems aggressive. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to play Nezumi. Okay. Nezumi is a friendly rat spirit. Mm -hmm. I mean, because, um, yeah. So a couple things happen. First thing, I unlock the die next to Nizumi. So it moves up from the red part to the green part. Uh, that's my three die, uh, which is my more powerful die. And all of them start with three, two, three, and two, one. one. Everybody yeah, starts right, three, yeah, two, yeah, one. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Right, yep. So, um, and that's going to allow me to either build a building 
or uh, build a crystal. Um, those are both super appealing. So the buildings are right here. The crystals are right here. So if I may, real yeah, quick. Jump so in there. for building a building, it's pretty simple. Uh, on your player board, and in fact, that probably, so as an option, at the bottom of your player board, there are six buildings. And you must build these left to right. So the first one's going to cost you a wood. There's a reason you start with a wood uh, for a resource. By the way, they're all screen printed I, on one side, but nonetheless. So it costs the wood to be able to do that. And if you do so, then you can choose any of the available buildings out here, and then you build it out in the associated area. You'll notice that there's a little building with different icons. So this one kind of has a lightning bolt. I'm sure there are names for these. Mm -hmm. But this one has a little squiggly. This one has like some sort of uh, leaf or, yep. or, or twig on it. This one has a red bowl. And this one has the little squiggly on it. Those have to go in what's called the inhabited area and the different areas. So there's little leaves here, there's a squiggly, there's the red bowl areas, and there are five different areas in which those can go, okay? So yep. when you build it, you're going to place it out in the associated area, and then when you do so, you're going to get whatever the benefit is over in the top left, which mm -hmm. this is advancing uh, two steps or one step on the associated Kadama track. What the hell is a Kadama track? Glad you asked. If you were to place it over here, this Kadama track, this is a little Kadama track or uh, token, these are going to score six, four, and two points, four and two, four and two, five, three, and one points, respectively, at the end of the game, depending on who's furthest along on those tracks. Mm -hmm. yep. Pretty simple on that. Then, anytime somebody places a die out there, which we'll talk about later, they're going to get whatever the benefit is, and by placing a die, it must be that number or higher mm -hmm. to activate. But then the owner of that uh, building is going to get whatever the resource, and obviously either or if it's a slash, so get a point, get a level one um, uh, amulet. Amulet, which gives you a free bump mm -hmm. anytime you place a die, so instead of it being a value three, maybe you make it a value four, whatever. That's buildings. Pretty simple overall. Yep. Yep. Crystals. Pretty simple. There are three different kinds of crystals. There are the income one, open hand. So, okay, cool. Yep. There are any time you, you unlock, a die. Uh, unlock a die for yep. that. We'll talk about that more when somebody does it. Or whenever you take that action, get that type mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. The cost, free. One resource of your choice, there are four resources in this game. There's wood, there's stone, there's jade, and of course... Sake. Sake. Yep. And so those cost one resource to claim either of those and two resources that you have to pay to then take mm -hmm. that onto your board. So your action is to choose either one of those buildings, paying the associated thing like we talked about, yep. or one of the... Uh, one of the crystals. One of the things I'm thinking about is I've got this this scoring condition, this rock down here. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I what's the name for the rock? Something rock. Blah blah. blah. Iwakura rock. Iwakura rock. There oh, you go. wrong, wrong one. I so the rocks are for I I can score for either water buildings or red buildings, which are sort of jokers. Okay. There's one red. There's no water buildings available. There's one red building available, um, and it's pretty good in other ways. Like I like I like the building. So I'm going to go ahead and build that red building. Okay. So you're going to pay the wood. Pay a wood. Unlock that building. And because yep. it's right here, I'll go ahead and grab it for him. So then it's so going, going to, to score go me two points at the end of the game for having built the building. Yep. Oh, and I suppose we ought to show that yep. too. So here. As I remove the buildings, you score anywhere from two to five points as you go along. You have to build them in order. Yep. There you go. And that is literally underneath where the yep. building is. Co above shows the, the costs and shows the benefit there. Okay. So I get to choose where I put it, but I have to put it on one of the red spaces. Right. So one, 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 one. And I'm going to choose to put it in one of the red spaces. And here. it does not matter left or right, whatever that goes. So then I'm going to put an ownership marker on it there. And you don't want to cover up that icon because <coughs> you're yep. going to need to see it for scoring yep. reasons. Yep. Um, and I then get two Kodama bumps on so that particular two. space. Yep. So right which now, also happens to be the most valuable of the Kodama spaces. It is. There's a six, and like I said, there's a five, a five, a four, and a four for first place. You do have to move to score these. This is first, second, third, what it says there. Yep. Important note, easy to trip on this, it doesn't have a number there, but it's actually a one because yeah. there's one yeah. in point. So as long as you've moved, you're guaranteed to get third, so you're guaranteed two points. 
already for spelling yep. your mm -hmm. name correctly. Unless somebody moves me back. Right. Okay. So uh, you have placed the die or unlocked have, it, play, I've, played a card. I've played a card. I've done all the actions associated with playing my card. My turn is over. Okay. Gonzalo. Okay. I'm also playing a card. It is Shim Okami. Yep. So that activates my die. And I can either uh, get a Firefly or I can get a, one of the spirits. Mata uh, Ma Matama spirits? Uh, yeah. Matama, there we go, yeah. And I'm going to get... The Hold on, before you do yep. let yep. me go ahead and explain this part yep. now. All right, so a dragonfly or a Matama spirit. What's the difference? Well, you'll notice that the dragonfly has a little notch on it that fits into a Matama spirit, okay? So Matama spirits exist, and I'm sure there is theme associated with this. Here's how I'm going to explain this. You pay the resource shown, a jade, a sake, or a sake, and then an additional jade mm. or uh, sake, mm -hmm. and then two sake, and then an additional jade or sake. This is the easiest thing in the game to forget. When you take one of the one of the Matama spirit tiles, you immediately score, because they're the gold koi, one, one, three, or five points. Mm -hmm. You can choose any of these. Also, you immediately get the benefit. So in this, a resource of your choice or a level one amulet. 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 I cannot remember the word amulet for whatever reason. Is it what uh, it really means is a pip on your dice. Yes. yes. Uh, take a walk, <laughs> one step with a pilgrim yeah. or... Uh, a recent, right, and this is unlock a die or yep. take a pip. When you do this, you get it, you place it on your board, you immediately get whatever the benefit is. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't have a slash, you get both. Mm -hmm. Okay, easy enough. However, it stays on your board. A dragonfly costs a resource, nothing, a resource, I'm sorry, you get a resource mm -hmm. of your choice, nothing, Green. pay a resource, pay a resource. The mm -hmm. reason for that is you'll notice there's a lot of uh, burning in this game, whether it's pilgrims or tiles. At the end of the round, we're going to get rid of the innermost one if it's not already taken. So, that said, you do not get these immediately. Instead, you place them on your board and that's that. However, on your turn, if you happen to have one of these sitting around on your board, you can immediately mate it with this. You will have already gotten the benefit for that, but then you get the benefit for the dragonfly, whatever that is. This is taking a Batoku card, uh, being able to place a uh, pilgrim down on a rock. Mm -hmm. This is uh, get a discounted crystal of two. This is uh, a discount of one. And getting a level three amulet, yep. so three pips. Pretty simple on that. Mm -hmm. Don't get it right away. These you get right away. Plus, there's going to be some rocks that have associated. That's the things there in the middle. Yep. All right, so with that said... Yep. Those are your two options, Gonzalo. Actually, your yeah, actually, I'm going to explain the whole process because I'm going to get the cheap uh, Karama spirit. Okay. Uh, that it is one jade. Mo Mo Motama. Motama, Motama spirit. spirit. There you Motama go. Spirit. So it costs you one jade. Yep. You get a point. I get a point. You're running away with the game already. So one, there we go. one yep. zero. So you get that. You get. And then that. also gives me either a resource or uh, an amulet. Then I'm going to get an amulet. That seems like a wise choice. Right. Yep. Okay. And I am going to actually put them together. All right. Ooh. Cool. So, which means you get the dragonfly stuff, and the dragonfly is what? Dragonfly allows me to sleep one of my spirits yep. in the rock area. Or one of your pilgrims. Yep. yep. Yeah, one of my pilgrims. And uh, what discounts. It? You can place it in one of the areas that requires a resource for free. Yeah. So explain that real quick. You have... Three awake pilgrims at the start, at the of, the start of the game. Mm -hmm. yep. You're going to unlock potentially uh, all, possibly some of the others by doing various actions. Mm -hmm. But you can take one of those three and place it down next to one of the rocks, and those are wherever the little circles are right there. They have a cost associated with them. The first two on the far left of his board do not. Yep. Whereas, as you continue going over, you'll notice that it costs one resource. Well, he gets a discount of one resource. It is there permanently for the end of the game. However, it's going to give him a, a multiplier yep. of whatever the icon is on that rock right there. So mm -hmm. for each one of those icons on his cards, yep. he's going to score a point at the end of the game. But that pilgrim is locked there for the remainder of the game. Correct. Okay? Cool? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. That's it. All right, so that is your 
Action. And if you would, bring those yes. up here because you're going to need it for Batoku Path. Um, there's a lot. So all these buildings are awesome. Also notice, we are not refilling these. These only get refilled at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing before we get uh, too deep into this, which too late, but it is kind of a 2D or a two layer board on this. So let me go ahead and show you all this as well. So these, there are, it, it scales. The board is one or two player on the other side, yep. three and four on this mm -hmm. side. Yep. And depending on three or four players, yep. it is going to have either two or three spots. Yeah, okay, number of spots dice. is basically like N minus one, right? Right. Yeah. So all of these things, and you'll notice that this board right here, you'll see that that moves. And then coming on down here, all of these are double-sided as well because there's more for five play or for four, four players. players. Mm -hmm. So all of those come out, these come out, a whole bunch of those, yep. et cetera, et cetera. So I just figure I'd point that out. Yeah, very, well. very modular. Yep. Very. Uh, how, somebody asked how variables set up. The only real variable stuff is what Iwa, uh, Iwakura Rock you start with, hmm. what uh, vision you start with and what random, there are two buildings that were randomly placed out here uh, to start the yeah. game. Yeah. But those differences oh, are and what cards are, are not like, subtle. No, no, it right? is. Like, I think it, it makes a huge difference. Agreed. Yeah. We um, had the two amulet out as one of the ancient buildings last time. Oh, okay. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. yeah, yeah. That made a huge, like, made yep. a big difference in in where we were thinking about going. So. Yep. Yeah, and also that each action is not always the same points because this is also yeah modular, modular as well. Yeah, so yep. it's yep. randomly placed. Yep. So, one other thing: everybody starts with a vision card. Vision cards are at the end of the game. If you complete it, you get all the prerequisites, mm -hmm. which are those three things. Score six points. If you don't, lose. Well, usually it's one or two points mm -hmm. is what it is, okay? So what this says is I need to have two buildings built. I need to have a resource at yep. the end of the game. And I have to have a Matama spirit, whether combined with a dragonfly mm -hmm. or, or not. not, okay? And this is in its own. If I get another vision card, if I it has another building icon, that means I need to have a total of three buildings, not just the two, because you can't use the same thing. There is a little bit of overlap when it comes to Matama uh, spirit tiles. However, so what this says is Matama spirit or building. Well, okay, that's not a bad idea. And I happen to have the two cards that actually will get me those things. Also, taking a walk might not be a terrible idea to start. Never bad. Um, but that said, there are a lot of buildings out here that I really like. There are a lot of crystals that I really like. And you know what? Let's go ahead and unlock the biggest one. So I'm, you could un choose to place it in any of the three spots. So I'm choosing to play Nizumi. Mm -hmm. So when I do so, and I'll show you all this, the player aid here is excellent, yeah, by the way. Yeah, it's very good. So we've already done spring, which is draw your cards, get your income. We, none of us have income. Uh, the next thing is play a yokai card from your hand. Use an unlocked die. Again, can't. Cross river, can't. Pass, not gonna. So here, unlock the die. Okay, done. There, unlocked. Activate the yokai card. Do what the special is. And then harmonize the crystal by taking it if I had a crystal. The little purple or pink ones right there. I don't, so okay. So now we have to activate the yokai. So get a building or a crystal. All right, well, there's a lot of good stuff here. I mean, there's no bad choice. Uh, getting income every round, like getting, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, extra resources. As are mm -hmm. the, whatever the hell these are called that I cannot remember. The amulets. amulets. Amulets, thank you. Um, because your dice are going to continually keep losing pips. Mm -hmm. We'll explain why when we get there. Buildings. Uh, anybody want to activate that with a pilgrim? One of the uh, uh, gates, the, yep. I, I forget the name of the gate. Tori. Tori. Tor Tori gate? Two eyes. Okay. So I, I would love to know how that's pronounced. <laughs> I think actually, it's just. But T O R I I. Yeah, I think it's Tor, right? I think so. Go with it. Don't speak Japanese myself. All right. Yeah. I'm fine with Spanish. <laughs> They're gate tiles. So they are. we'll just call it gate tiles. Yep. So activate the uh, one of the A's. That's awesome. Get an amulet. And the A's in this particular game are very strong. They uh, discount a dragonfly or three amulet. Those are those are nice. Those are awesome. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um. So that's nice. 
Uh, get a dragonfly yep. tile. Also good. Uh, or a level. And note, the level of the die required. Yep, makes a difference. That's why I chose, that's one of the reasons I chose that three. Yeah. Because it's e everybody's got a three yep. in the first yep. round. Yep. Right. Not everybody's got a five. All those are great. Okay. Yep. Getting an amulet every round, also great. You got the you got the stuff for it, so. Um man, this is hard. But I even though we don't have fives, this is awesome. And it gives me it I'm just gonna do it. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead. Does it match your scoring tile too? Uh yes. Bonus. Okay. So the type of building. Yeah. Right. Yep. So I have to pay the resource, so I have to pay a wood to do that. So I will pay the wood there. Okay, so then I take that, and that's going to be worth two points at the end of the game, as mm -hmm. before uh, mentioned previously. So I will take it, and it has the little squiggly. So squiggly could go there, oh, could go there, there, either of those, there, yep. or not there. That's okay. It's yep. okay. So a level five. I have a feeling people are going to want to go for walks. I mean, at some point in the game, everybody yep. does. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. And when I do so, I get two uh, Kadama steps. So I am the cream color there. And I get a level one amulet. So I can Ooh, use that. Fancy. Now, we have not talked about amulets yet, but we will. Um, that's just awesome. Just plain and simple. I'm happy with that. That's all I can do on my turn. I'm done. Ken, you're up. Okie doke. Um, I'm going to get a die out. I've got one unlocked die, so I'm going to go ahead and place it. I'm going to place it in this area here. Okay. All right, there are five areas that you could go to. Yep. These, that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And finally, yep, up, up there. There. Yep. Those are kind of last resort. Yeah. Okay. They, for uh, in a lot of ways, those are going to be the last resort. So yeah. when you go here, so you as your turn, instead of playing a card, you chose to use an unlock die on your player board. So run through the steps on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the first, so I'll go to an area, um, and the strength of my action is determined by the number of pips on the die. So you can see that at a level three, I can either build a building, or you build a crystal. crystal. And without a discount, whereas a four or five would give you a discount on the crystal, on the crystal, and a six would give you a discount. You get to build both, and you get a discount on um, both. That's and right. also, when you place this, you could use amulets. I could to boost it up to yep. whatever number, up to six. If An you important wish to. thing to think about as you're playing is ones cannot cross the river, and I only have one amulet right now. Yep. So since I want to cross the river with all my dice, probably I I'm not gonna. Spend my amulet yet? Okay, and that's kind of crossing where I'm the river is a third option you could do Cross on your turn. Third, it basically gives you another action. Yes, and it's a pretty strong action. Yes, so holding off for now. I would love it, but I but I can't. Mm -hmm. And also, you can choose any of these three actions or could whatever or three or below. I also have access to any one building below, and I can do the building I think before or after yeah. the other action. You pick the order. Yep. So um, it happens that I'm going to do. The same action with both. Wow. Ooh, you're going to get two crystals? crystals? I'm going to get two crystals. Because crystal, so we placed a three or higher. Mm -hmm. So you get that. Because it's his building, you don't get the bonus for activating your own build. So oh, sadly. Crystal and crystal. Yep. So let's move on down. So the first crystal I'm going to take is the free one. Okay. Because that it's one. free. I mean, yep. It's, yep. Yep. it's also good. I don't, I don't have any problems with that crystal. I mean, it's income. But it is. Sort of. It's, yeah. And so this is a pink crystal. The pink crystals live in the middle of the board here, and what I will do is move off one of my sleeping pilgrims, bump it out, you can see I'm gonna score two points for that at the end of the game. This pilgrim wakes up, goes mm -hmm. up here, so now he's available to use. And then anytime I unlock the die in this area, <clears throat> I will get this benefit. That's awesome. So when I unlock the die in this area, moving forward, I'll get a sake. Yep, yep. Is it when you unlock a die or well, when you play the yokai card? When, when, you, you, when you play the card, actually. But uh, normally, yeah, it's, it's different. Normally, when you play the card, you activate your oh, dice. Oh, when you play the card. It's yes. when you play the card. And the reason I'm okay. making a difference is there unlock. are actions <coughs> that allow you to unlock. unlock a die without playing a yokai card. <coughs> Correct. So it's when you play a card to that area. Okay. Glad, glad you corrected. <laughs> yeah, so, 
So that's my first of the two crystal Crystals. actions. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second one I'm going to take, I, I, I only have one resource in full disclosure. So alas, he cannot so say he wants take, to. I wouldn't mind that one. That one's pretty good. Um, but I think in the interest of sort of upping my income, I'm going to take the either a jade or a wood. Yeah, yep. Good. Yep. And note, these do not refill. <laughs> Until the end of the round, or the beginning, yeah, the end of the round. Yeah, so yeah. similarly, I, this is a purple crystal. It lives up here, and it's going to, just just the same, unlock another pilgrim, bump him over here. He's awake now, and at the end, end of the game, I will score two points for having unlocked this purple crystal. And then during spring, mm -hmm. I will get either a wood or a jade. Yep, yep. Item of my choice. Spring, aka income. Income, yes. yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that is the end of my round. All right. So, place the die. Mm -hmm. You activated, activated. And if there are multiple that he could activate, you activate one of them. That's right. Do both of those and boom, done. And boom, done. There we go. Okay. So, in my turn, as uh, we have a beautiful building that Edward built right before. Mm. I'm going to use my three, but I'm going to use my two amulets. Oh. So three plus two is going to be a five. Yep. yep. These go out. And I'm going here. All right. So. Either a four or a five would give me three bumps, yep. but the three reason steps. why I, I am using both oh. amulets is because there is a beautiful oh. building there. Oh, yes, it is there a beautiful is. building. Yep. So, real quick, we'll go ahead and just, because mine's super quick. I get a point and an amulet right there, so thank you. <laughs> no longer running away with the game yet, so we're both at one there. Uh, an amulet, please. Yep. I heard these are strong. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, so now, uh, the Paths of Wisdom. Mm. So you're going to activate this first? Yes, I'm okay. going to do that first. And uh, So the Paths of yep. Wisdom have four gates. Yep. There are two A's and two B's. Go ahead and show folks. Yeah, the two A's are these two. Yep. And the two B's that are farther are these two. There you go. So using that building allows me to activate one of the A's. And actually, it's going to be this yep. guy. It's a level three amulet. It's a level three. Level three you never get change yeah, when you nice. use an amulet. Yes. But turning a two, two to a five, five is it awfully is super tasty. Super strong. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, real quick, let's go and talk about the paths while we're showing it. Yep. Mm. Theoretically, all of our pilgrims are kind of right here at this gate, right here. They start either going to the right on the little footprints or going to the left. Every step on the path, one, two, three, etc. To cross a bridge, the bridge are not, uh, those are not steps, but what it requires is us to have Butoku cards unlocked. These are these cards, which we can acquire when we cross the river. We'll talk about those more in a little bit, but as it is right now, none of us can go past this spot or past this spot, but you'll notice that there are also destinations mm -hmm. up here on these. So if well, you're about to see Gonzalo has three steps. He could, on any mix of uh, pilgrims, yep. he could go one, two. And when they reach either any of these yellow spots or any of the gate spots, they have reached their destination, and that is a one-way one trip. They go to sleep, and they lock those spots, and they immediately get whatever the benefit is, points and amulets or points and whatever the gate is, et cetera, et cetera. The mm -hmm. same, it's the same on both sides as far as how that mechanically works. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so three steps. Yep. And actually it's not the case, but I could also use the steps to walk through the... Uh, your Botoku cards, Bitoku but Bitoku we don't cards. have them yet. We don't right. have them yet. Yep. yep. So I'm going to get one of my pilgrims. So they start from here. Yep. And uh, I'm going to go right. So it's going to be one. It's going to be two. And it's going to be three. Okay. So if I slip here. So three points and a level one amulet. Yeah. Level one amulet. And three points. There we go. And that's, right. that's, and that's my that's, action. There you go. Okay. So uh, you've now seen two of the four available actions, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
All right, okay, now that that's done, uh, what do we want to do? I don't feel like walking yet. I could do something with that and, I mean, there's a reason I got that building. That is awfully good. I only have one resource right now. I could change that. You only have one resource. What does that mean? I well. Uh, oh, I see what you're for saying. For that, right? Yeah. For oh, I'm sorry. I've already played. I can't. I um, look. It's got to be over here. Uh, that that actually. Be oh, there. because of the cards I have in my hand. Well, you could the 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 die can do anything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just saying, the die can do anything. You are correct. You know. You know what I like. I don't know. Uh, but I, I bet you're gonna tell me. <laughs> Oh, God, these are all so good. So, what I'm looking at... I don't like it when he says these yep, are all so yep. good. I'm a I mean, taking a Botoku card, that's awesome. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> getting a free crystal. Yep, pretty good. Uh, Depending on the crystal. <laughs> uh, getting a, a level 3 amulet. Not terrible. Oh, God. Well, the expensive crystal is awesome. Yeah, but I can't right now. That's the problem with it. And the cool thing with the first one is that it gives you uh, a resource. You don't yeah, have to yeah, exactly. Pay. And a Botoku card. Yeah. And a resource. Eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, once I lock it or yeah, unlock yeah. it with. Yep. So, but I need... Oh, God. I am so conflicted as to what to do on these. The other option is I could go out there and place that die... You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think instead what I'm going to do, I am going to be a sheep. I'm going to take uh, this three unlock die right yep. now, and I'm going to actually go out here. Yeah. I'm going to place it there. It doesn't look like a sheep. That's you, you, chose, you blazed your own trail. Now, it's important <laughs> to point out that in order to activate what's called the forest, which are these actions mm. right here, mm -hmm. you have to place a die equal to or higher value than existing die in those spaces. Now, in our game, there's only two. In a four-player game, there would three, be three spots. Yep. So if I were to place my three here, I would not get to do this action. Instead, all I could do is any building yep. that is at a three or lower pip value. Wouldn't be so great. Not, not so hot. I could do that here, and I equal to or, you know, I'm good to go in that case. Mm -hmm. However, I elect to not. I, I'm choosing to go there. So that's going to get me a resource of my choice. That'll be a stone, please. Yep. And then, so I got that because it's two or higher. Yep. I'm sorry. Or then I get that. Mm -hmm. Either order. Either or. Yep. Okay. So oh, we a, now have an amulet collection he has there. It, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's not terrible. Um, and the reason for that, and by the way, these started, that's one of the ones that started, and notice it has no ownership, so you can tell that it's an ancient building or a starter mm -hmm. building out there. The reason I chose to do that is in case um, that's available to me on my next turn, I have a couple of resources in which to maybe be able to do it. We'll see. So that's me. So. Activated, activated, done, go. Okay, I don't have any unlocked dice right now. I could cross the river, but I'm actually not in a huge hurry to do that. Um, be, and, and so just to spell that out, um, there's only so many worker placement spots. Yep. And if I'm occupying one, it makes it harder for other people to go in my space. Right. So I'm going to wait. So somebody would have to go there to beat you across the river. You actually have two actions. Exactly. You have time. Exactly. So you could wait, and then if I had placed there, you might be inclined to cross over because only one person can do each of, each those, of actions, those things, those that's right. and so we'll explain that more as we go Exactly, along. but I'm not in a hurry to do that, so that's, that's staying where it is. So I'm going to play a card. The card I'm going to play is my Shin Ukami card. Easy for you to say. Um, since I played a card here, I will get a Sake very temporarily. Um, I will unlock this die. Okay. Shinokami lets me take either a dragonfly, 
uh, which is tempting. Getting just getting a resource, yep, yep. kind of regardless of what the dragonfly does, <laughs> is appealing. Well, well, couple it with a Batoku card is yeah. awesome. It's not bad. It's not bad. However, um, comma. However, comma. I already have a dragonfly, yep. um, which I'm ready to use, and so getting a spirit makes sense. I have the ne the needed sake to take the second spirit in the line there. Um, and so that's the one I'm going to take. And you immediately score one point. Score one you. point. I got you. Phil. Or go ahead. Go. Yep. And I get either a step on the path or one amulet. I am in dire need of amulet, so I'm going to take an amulet. And I also will get the ability on the dragonfly, because I'm going to unite the dragonfly and the Motama spirit in what probably thematically is a beautiful ceremony. <laughs> um, Fair. Fair. But it, it, here, out here, here. Here in our game, it just looks like putting two pieces of cardboard together. But um, the exciting experience is that I am going to get two Kodama two steps. Mm -hmm. Oh. And I'm also going to take a Kodama step away from somebody named Edward because he's the only he's one the who's only taking one. steps yep, besides yep. me. Okay, so you get two and somebody right. gets punished. Take two away. Now, yeah. oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So um, one of the harder ones to climb on is this center one. Yeah. Because there's no building area that generates Kodama stuff naturally. You have to sort of play a wild one. So I'm going to take two steps it's there. It's a wild and crazy it's Kodama. It's a wild and crazy Kodama. Um, and, then, and then you'll move back one on that spot. Which really didn't harm you at all. Not so, really a big yeah. deal. These last spots on the Kodama track, only one Kodama can reach it. Let me rephrase that. Only one can occupy it at a given time. The reason I say that is because of what... Ken just did. If I had been all the way there, A, that's really impressive in round one, but he can kick me out. Mm -hmm. And then somebody could jump in there. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind, okay? That is allowed. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's you. That's me. Uh, I'm going to play Nizumi to yep. unlock my two. And... Nizumi That's allows me either building, build, I mean, build a building or get a crystal. And uh, so I can, that. yeah, but I am not doing that. I'm actually building uh, because I have a one wood. Okay. What is the cost of? I could make a case for either of those. And, hmm. So, oh boy. So butterfly, I'm yeah. sorry, dragonfly, and then get a, either a uh, amulet or a point or mm -hmm. a level uh, a three value die, if you will, a one value die and get an amulet. Like I'm yeah. thinking Everybody for anybody, that. right? Yeah. That is such a good. Oh, I don't have a high pit value. Oh, I'll still go there for that amulet. Yeah, not and bad. you get a point. That that seems like we're going to use that, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, the only con of that particular building is that. Is gonna give me immediately less bumps. Uh, yep. On the Kadamas but, track. Yeah. But I think it's gonna be used by others and also by me. Yep. More than the other. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll pick that one. Okay. Yeah. And that is a leaf or a twig okay. branch right. one. Okay. Yeah. So. One tricky thing about the dragonfly is that at most it can be used four times. Yep. Right. Yep. So particularly as our action gets stronger later on, that, that building is just not going to be used as much because the dragonflies are maybe going to all be gone. Right, because we will have hmm. hoovered them up like we are the other things in this game. Yeah. So there... He's going to go there. Okay. All right, cool. And my building that is going to... And so you get one, one bump there. Kadama track. Yes. Boom, done. Okay. That's it. Not saying much in chat. Y'all are talkative. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, uh... Let me catch up a couple things. Max, I apologize if you're going to be tired. Um, uh, Max is chef. My fault. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Will we be at PAX East? Yes. And if we get a power grid map, I hope you insist on a custom resource name, whatever the hell these are. <laughs> Done. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, all right. So, I had a plan. Was it foiled? I don't know. I need to remember <laughs> how I could do this. And you have two resources now, just saying crystal. I do, but the problem is I realized I played time. my Nozumi card, which gives me a direct crystal. What? So the other way is that, but I have to have a die. So I have to play a card 
to get that. Uh, and y'all don't have resources, so I'm pretty safe to be able to snag that if I want to at some point. So therefore, I think... he's safe. <laughs> theoretically. I could be wrong. There might be things I'm not sure of. Just heard him say he was safe. I... Bite your tongue, <laughs> sir. I'll go ahead and play Shinokumi. Yeah. Okami, sorry. Uh, so we unlock. We do one of those two. Um, so my starting dragonfly is take a vision card. Uh, you always get to draw two, keep one, or discard them both and take a resource. Correct. And get a resource. And get a resource. Yeah, pretty decent. So, not terrible. Pretty decent. Um, but you can't afford the spirits that are available to you, so. Fact, because they don't have any sake. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm going to do? Get another dragonfly. Seems and like a good idea. Here's the thing. I can make a legitimate case for three of them. This one less so, honestly, but that, that, and that are all awesome. It's really weird with those. Like, you always feel like you're not in a hurry to get them, but at the end of the game, yep. if you didn't place a bunch of them, you're like, why didn't I put more of those down? Right. <laughs> um, so, man, I, again, I could make a case for a lot of things, but early on, getting extra stuff. Free stuff, not bad. Uh, so I think I'll go ahead and do that. Yep. So I don't get the Potoku card right now, but I do get a resource of my choice. And that resource is going to be a sake. It seems so. like the right call. Given and your... those get stacked up there. And, Boom, and done. A, a, like a minor but important note is that you actually don't have access to underneath Dragonfly. Right. When, you, when you're combining those guys, you must use the top the one. The top one. So yeah. I have... Botoku card and whatever that is, I cannot, I can look at it and be like, oh, that's coming, but I can't do it until yeah. later. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now I have some choices. I can either play my two value die. I've got one more card here in my hand that I could play to unlock. I could cross the river. Still not in a hurry to cross the river. Uh, so, um, that dragonfly area is, I think, a little less appealing for me now that I can't get a free resource. So, not looking as hard at that area. If I could somehow have one more amulet to get up to five, I would gratefully play a five to get the three value amulet over here. That is awfully tasty, ain't it? Uh, but I do not, sadly. Um, so, I kind of have to figure out a little bit about what I want to do. Um, I think, I think... I'm going to raise the value of this die by two by playing both Ooh. of these amulets. And I'm going to play in the humble resource gathering area. I will first get a single amulet because there's an ancient building there that lets me get that without paying a vig to a <laughs> Gonzalo over here. All right, yeah. <laughs> um, and then it does also allow me to get two resources of my choice. Uh, so, I know I need a stone for my next building. Everybody must get stone. Yep. But, <laughs> it would also be nice to have, eh, okay, so stone for sure, I think. And you're just debating on what your second resource is? Yeah. There we go. I <sighs> think my other resource, I'll take jade. We'll allow it. I think before, so that action is right now blocked. Yeah, so you can't go to those locations, yep. right? Yep. And these are only for crossing the river, so you have to be there to mm -hmm. cross. Once that opens up, then that frees that up. However, notice there's two spots in two spots, so if somebody else goes there, only two are getting across the river. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Um, so what I'll do because I do not have resources so I uh, have not too much flexibility mm -hmm. I'll cross the river oh okay here we go so that becomes a four so when you cross the river the pit value goes down by one unless it's a six then it gets halved yeah on all the spots doesn't matter the location so yep. it was a five it's now a four yep and now you have three options the three options are add to your, uh, uh, sorry, your yokai deck, yep. so your hand mm -hmm. of cards. Mm -hmm. These are all better 
They also have a stronger when you uh, sort of scoring. Uh, yeah, option. when yeah. you tuck it away yeah. and kind of we'll get permanently there. We'll discard. get there in I don't know if it's fall or winter, but there's a point where yes. you can discard a card for points. Yeah. So that's the yokai cards. Yep. They're all better than the starting ones. There, yep. there, there are I think six different ones, and they're all better than the starting five that we got. Mm -hmm. The Batoku cards have two different or three different things on them. First off, they have a I think it's kanji. Could be katakana, I'm not sure, but they have a uh, a symbol, a symbol an at the top, mm -hmm. yep. and there are seven different. So there's a set collection aspect of Correct. this. If you get all seven, they're worth more points. And let me show you all that here, right there. They're worth up to 22 points if you have a full set of seven. Mm. So that's the first thing to take into consideration. The second thing is it's actually going to, you have your little uh, animal that can go on a trip. You're going to place them out here. When you use the path cards, so whenever you go for a walk, you can step on the card for a step just like you can up here on the Paths of Wisdom. When you do that, you then get whatever the benefit is below it. Mm -hmm. In that case, three points and a resource. So you take that card, you take that card, which are those two, or, so Botoku card or... Uh, uh, yokai card. Yokai card, thank you. Or the third option is you can take two of these. Increase any one Kodama track one step. Mm. You can get a rock. Get a rock. In the rock garden, that's in game scoring that we yep. talked about, that we all start with one. Mm -hmm. Place a pilgrim on uh, any rock spot yep. and yep. pay the associated cost, which mm -hmm. is always going to be one resource or free. Or Draw two vision cards, keep one, or discard them both and get a resource. Two different, your choice, and these do not refill. So if somebody takes the Botoku card, guess what? It's not going to be an option because card's gone. You get the idea. Boom. Go for it. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to get the Jokai card. And mm -hmm. the, the reason why is because, because my rock gives me points for, for that particular There you go. That icon. makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it goes to the discard pile. Just like most deck builders. Yep. yep. And uh, Done. that was my action. Okay. I so crossed you, the river. Yay. So when we, rec when we take our dice back, anybody that's crossed the river is minus one pip or possibly minus three if it's a mm -hmm. six, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so now I did have a plan of that, and I think it's worth it to do it. It's just what value. I mentioned that I really do like the building. I think it's worth it to me to do this. So I like the building that's out here. And it matches my my Iwakura rock mm -hmm. here. So I would like a crystal and a building because I'm greedy like that. So I'm going to take this two, three, four, Five. Oh, watch out. Six. Wow. You, I'm just going to point out, you can get a crystal already down there. Doesn't have Thank to be you. Six. Let's let's <laughs> roll that back a little bit. Five might still be good. Because right. you get a discount. I do get a discount. Ooh, that's tasty. Is it worth it for the... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm willing to spend three of these bad boys. So I'll spend three of them. So that's going to turn this two into a five. You, do you need a five or just a four? I mean, need, but you get you get the same. Yeah. You get the same. All right, boy, you make. And it works for amulet. activating the. It is. The I suppose holding the amulet is nice. Flexibility is nice. Yeah. So I'll turn it into a four. It's less exciting, but that's okay. It's okay. It's it okay. is okay. It's so okay. it's a four equal to or greater. Cool. Yep. So Many. here, uh, first off, uh, I can get a yeah. I'll activate this and take the crystal. The crystal I'm choosing to take is going to be that one, so I get income every time. And I will get an amulet as a result. Yeah, there you go. So this is then going to come up here on my board. That's going to awaken that pilgrim to later possibly get burned. That's painful for that pilgrim, less so for me. Uh, so there's that. And then I can take a uh, building. Oh, God. did I? No, I did not screw this up. Uh, the building I'm choosing to take is the only one that's left. So I will grab that one for the butterfly, and that's going to cost me a stone. Why do we know this? Because at the bottom of my board, it says it costs one stone. I have a stone. 
Here we go. Oh. I should not have done that. I am it was sorry. A, it was a great try. It I mean, was, <laughs> it, an attempt was made. Yep. So there's that. <laughs> then this will go out, and it matches the rock, like I mentioned. And with this being a three... Uh, Could be good there for those of us who don't have a super high pit the, count. I mean, there is that. I mean, I, I do want to... It's a leaf, is it? it uh, it's a squiggly. Oh, it's, so but there's still a squiggly yeah, spot yeah, there. Yeah, there is. Yep. And you know what? Um, sure, I'll go ahead and monopolize that area. I'm, that way... Oh, oh you're kind you of competing don't... against yourself. That's interesting. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? There's spots available still yeah. for this round. Yeah, yeah. And maybe motivate y'all to use it. I'm okay with that. That's fine. I'm good with that. <laughs> I get two on the yoke. Ah, that's the other reason. Yep. Mm. Because it's where you place the building. That is a fair statement. We will go there and get two steps on the Kodama, on the Kodama track. track. So, there, I got that, I got, yeah, the I'm crystal done. On That's the me. I'm yep. happy. All right. So now I think it might be time to cross the river. <laughs> because now Edward and I are in competition in two different spaces. And I had sort of decided before the round that I really wanted that Nizumi. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cross the river here. That means my die goes down from three pips to two pips. And I will take this Dizumi. He goes into my discard pile here. Boom, done. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Whee! All right. After the first round, y'all are going to see how quick the turns go. Yep. Because we're dragging it out to explain everything because we're teaching it. But yeah. It just came to my mind that I think we are playing in a friendly way oh well that's uh, in terms of no in terms of the buildings i think the box has uh tokens with an x mm -hmm. because the buildings can be used just once per round well i i it's possible interesting. i interesting i will double check that i don't think we've violated uh, it, it just that. came to my mind because we I haven't just, yet i just recalled yeah. That he uh, has a, a tokens with an X, like saying right, yeah, this yeah. was already mm. used. Okay. That is a fair point. I will find it, but you probably yeah. Basically, that. also there in certainly the, are tokens with X. Yeah. In if the you box. if you in the I am looking for in where, the, in this ah, sheet it says yeah. It says there are Hikaru markers and this is available buildings, and that means if, if they were not used. In that run. Uh, that would be H. Double check. Sorry to bring that up. No, not <laughs> right now. I want to do what we, have, we, no, we haven't. We so, haven't. Yeah, uh, so in it does in English, it actually doesn't say available, but yeah, in Spanish it does. Yeah, that's what I. I was like, oh, that's why those yeah. tokens. Anytime a building is used. Yeah. You put it, so it mm. is just available once per round. So when we do the cleanup yeah. at the end of the year, of the, of the mm. is when we get rid of a game of those uh, tokens. Yeah. I am double checking. I am looking. Mm -hmm. If Christopher is in chat, he will probably beat me to it. <laughs> yeah, it says, actions in buildings that are available ah. in that region. That is interesting because so we have it, but I've never seen it actually where you use them though. Um, constructing buildings, I see that, but actually, when you place mm -hmm. the die out there to take the action, it's okay, it's right here. Uh, the forest region, um, place a die, each region, da 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 da, da uh, those give the various actions, but it doesn't say anything about marking off used buildings. Oh, okay. They say that they this cover is to cover up, up across, across the, the river, river when they get used. Oh, yeah, which it's obvious. Yeah. The only thing is if, you can't yeah, use that yeah, one more than once. Right. That's it. Yeah, no. Uh, so we're playing, okay. right? We're good. Okay. Okay. I think awesome. that's just the translation. Perfect. Google. So I guess available could also mean, like, available having, yeah, having, right. been, having built. been built. Yeah, exactly. yeah. or right. the or it is not available because your die is not is too. It doesn't low have the yeah. 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 That's it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, 
Much better. <laughs> <laughs> I feel relieved. <laughs> Thank you, Steven. All right, go for it. I think I'm done, right? Uh, and so Serino and Jameson, yeah, all y'all. All right, cool. Okay, okay. So I my turn, right? Yes. Uh, my turn is, is my yes. turn is okay. Over. So yeah. easy. So in that particular case, as I can use again that building, I'm gonna yep turn yep. that into a five, please. Again, yeah. another five. I use this all day. huge. I'll go here. Yep. So a five gives me three yep. uh, steps, and also, also I'm going to activate that because that gives you one of oh, those yeah, I got you. and and a point. I already got the point. And a point. Okay, uh -huh. so I am activating again this beautiful building. Yep, that's a good one. So it was kind of for free. Mm -hmm. And three steps. And uh, three steps that are going to go. I have just one pilgrim available. Better be careful so with your pilgrims there. Go well there, pilgrim. One, two, and three. Okay. Three yeah. points. Three points angle, for me. Three points. And another of these guys. All right. Yep, that's a lot of ambulance over there. Not liking how that's looking. Yeah. Huh. So, I still don't really have any rocks, but I do want the Batoku card. I am going to get a Batoku card here, so it's, I'm not in a huge rush to race across the river because eh, I don't really care about that um, yokai card. Uh, but I think I want the Batoku card. I think. Placing down... I, actually, no. I'm not in a rush for that. Nope. I'm clearly not in a rush over here. So I guess that means we're going to go ahead and bust that out. Yeah, I, I, I don't see a reason why not to. So we'll go ahead and unlock that. We uh, we get to take a walk. That would be the reason why I would do that. Nope. Back that up. That makes sense. Even though I'm not in a rush to be able to do this. Hmm. It'll let you walk on the, yeah. on the Batoku. Yeah, so I think what I will do is I will... Cross one side or the other. Yeah, so I think I'll go ahead and cross this one, and I'll take uh, the gin card. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of them out there. That one and that one. So I'll go ahead and take that. Yep. So then all that happens is you'll notice that the little path there connects like that, but we're just going to... Mm. Like so. So as a step, I could step on that, get three points, get a vision card. Yep. Or draw two, keep yep. one, as it were. Mm -hmm. All right, Ken. Hmm. Well, in theory, I could cross the river here. Have a good night, Franny. Because it lets me get my first choice of options. Later, Paul. I don't know. I mean, the Yama Uba is always good. Yep. Um, always good. Because they kind of are bonus scoring for yokai cards. They're bonus scoring the there yeah. and and like you could see her actions pretty strong. Get Two resources. of any resource sure. uh, which is much better than the other the card that's currently in my hand. Um uh, yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I am going to do. I am going to do that. Yep. So I will go ahead and cross the river. My Four goes down to a three, and I'll take the Yama Uba card into my discard. Cool. Boom, done. Easy for me. I'll cross the river here. Yep. That's a four. Yep. And I am actually... Um, oh. it's easy! Oh. Or is it? Da, take da, the da, Jin da. card. All right. Yep. It's going here. Yep. All right. Well, mine is also going to be easy. I kind of telegraphed it. Uh, so there, we unlock it. I get one step. I could do the path up north, yep. or I'll just go ahead and do this. Boom. Score it's going to be three points, points and uh, two vision cards. So three points up to five. Yep. And two vision cards. And pretty simple on these. Keep one of these if I wish, or get a resource. Probably going to keep them. Notice there are four and six point. Lose one or two, respectively. Mm. Uh so now is a good point uh, to, to point this out, and I think this is going to be one of the last clarifications I think I need to make. Let me show, I said these kind of double up in a spot, and mm -hmm. here is that spot. 
If I choose this card, this means two butter, I'm sorry, two dragonflies and mated with a Matama uh, spirit Prince. card. Yep. Mm -hmm. However, these are just a Matama spirit. The Matama spirit that you use for this can be counted for the one that's made it up with the dragonfly. Yep. That is the one case that you are allowed to double up. Um, and to be honest with you, that seems completely doable, so I'm just going to keep that one and discard the other one because it's only four points and six is better than four, and I think I'm going to be able to do all that. That goes to the bottom of the deck. Boom, done. Go. Okay. I don't have a lot of choices. I've crossed the river twice. I don't have any unlocked dice over here. I'm playing a card. Oh, I'm shocked. It's all I can do. <laughs> but you could pass. You're not going to pass. <laughs> but you could. It's an interesting idea. Yeah, it is. I'm going to hold off on that choice, though. All right. Uh, I'm going to take... I played Imamushi. He lets me take either a stone or, or a wood. I'll take and a stone. You activate your... And, and I... That's right. I unlock yeah. my... Sa same way than you. I play my Kappa. Yep. I activate my Wang. And it allows me to give one to go move oh. one step. And I'll do it with my... Three animal. points and a resource. Three points and a resource. That it is going to be stone or rock... Whatever we're gonna call it. So it was good. Good job getting that uh, that's, token card. Eh? That's what I did. It yeah. Yeah. Because if not, I I, I have not any. I have not spirits. Mm -hmm. A pilgrims available. Yep. Or awake. So. Hmm. So this could be nasty, and I'm debating whether or not it's worth being nasty about it. Hmm. So let me walk through why. I currently have a one pip. I have that one that can cross the river. Mm -hmm. Now, I should point out, you don't have to cross the river, but you probably want to more. You often probably should. I'm going to take that. I feel pretty confident about that. I mean, no, there's not a, even a huge rush, right? Right, exactly. So this one, I could turn into a two, three, or four. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm looking over at Ken's board. He currently has a one. Yep. And he could turn that into a three, three mm -hmm. max. So if I were to turn this into a four and place it, there. Right. Ken can play it there. Yep. However, he wouldn't get to do the forest action. He Correct. would only get to do that or that respectively, mm -hmm. which diminishes that. Yep. Now, he could place it there as a three, either there or there, yep. but he's not going to be able to cross the river if he does that. Yep. So this could be pretty nasty. <laughs> but is it worth it for me to do? If it benefits me, you betcha. But, because, oh, that, that <laughs> yeah. feels good. Yeah, um, yeah. Now, he could also place up here in the middle, mind you, okay? Correct. In any of these four spots and get what the associated stuff is with right. that. So not to be, you know, or, or like I said, he could do this and just skip that. But the difference between a three and a four in this case is this would allow me to get a discount uh, of one and a three for a Matama it is Matama, right? Um, yes. Yeah, Matama, Matama Spirit. Spirit. Um, and getting the discount of one seems pretty good right now, so well, I'm going to go you there. you don't need it, but it wouldn't be bad. I mean, a discount is always Always nice. good, right. Yes. So I know I'm going to turn it into at least a three. Uh, and you know what? I think the three is going to be good enough. Ooh, so I'm, I'm okay. going to allow Ken... <laughs> The opportunity. Well, so, so I'm going to spend two of these for a three. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Turn that into a three. Go ahead. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. I mean, again, <laughs> I could be nasty, but honestly, keeping that in my back pocket for another die, it, then it becomes a two next round or it becomes a, four, a three next round, right? Yep. And I'm going to, right now, it would be three, two, two. Or this would be 3-3-2. Three, three, mm -hmm. And looking at what dice are out there, those are fours. And, oh. That's probably going to be a big number. Yeah, anyway. at least a four. Yeah. Which then it crosses into a... Th you know what? No. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and spend it and turn it yep, into yep. a four. And that's honestly not necessarily to be nasty because it really doesn't help me here. Because I'm going to, this is the same right. for me, but it helps me for next round. Yep. Right, I mean, you still have to find some amulets, although you're about to get one, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, quite possibly. But, like, yeah. this is going to be a three. Those are still going to be fours. Understood. So, 
I will take an amulet there, so I will go ahead and get one point. There you go, and got an one. amulet yep. there. Uh, and then I will go ahead and take the uh, Matama tile. I'm going to I get a discount of any mm -hmm. one. So, so you can afford the expensive one. I can, which is worth five points, which is nothing to sneeze at. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any of the stones. It also is... Or the rocks, as it were. Maybe a better... Oh, it's not It's not better right now if you don't have any dice to unlock. I have none. So honestly, I yeah, think I'll go probably, this. That's probably the right one. I'll go ahead and pay the... You know what? Hmm. I'll pay the jade. Yep. So the jade goes away. Mm -hmm. I will take this. I will immediately... Go ahead and unlock it. So this bad boy will come over and this bad boy will come over. So I'm going to get... Mm. <laughs> huh. I'm going to get a Batoku card. That's draw two, keep one, yes. right? So let me go ahead and see those. So uh, basically I want one that doesn't duplicate and there's no gin, so I could take either of these. And they are almost identical, except this one's worth more points. And I don't know the distribution between Ray and Mejo, or Mejo, so I like the artwork on this, and it's worth more points, so I'll keep that one. Okay. That this will go one, away. We're just, we've just been placing them on the bottom. I think technically you're supposed to create a discard pile, but it yeah. ends up being the same. Yeah, yeah. It really does. Uh, so that's that, and I think I mm, the extra resource is awfully nice. Damn it. Nope, I want the amulet. Okay. Because pips. Yep. So, done. And now, uh, I think that's me, right? Yeah, done. It's you. Ken. So, I, you know, I, I, it's tempting to go here and get more resources in an amulet. Um, but I won't be able to cross the river. Um, There's just not a way that will actually work oh. out. The only place you can cross the river is in the first... In that area. Definitely could cross the river there, for sure. Um, but then I would be giving up this action. Yes, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that number right there, the smaller number, that's a one, and that's a four. So that's how many of them there are. Oh, you reckon? Uh, apparently, according to chat, huh. that's, I chose right. Okay. <laughs> that's it. That's the number of cards. Thanks, Goose Arena. Uh, <laughs> So, I think yes. my choices really are going here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, the other, the other thing is, I mean, you could still, even though it can't cross the river in these other places, do you want to do any yeah. of the, like, do you want to go for a walk? Right? I, I, I don't, or do you, there's no building, but do you want that crystal? Like, eh, I... I mean, yeah. obviously, this is a you decision, but... Yeah. Or do you want to do any of those things in the middle, which uh, we also didn't talk about. That's, That's how you change super turn order. interesting. You know what? You, you talked me into it. So... You're welcome, I think. I'm going to spend two of these to turn this into a three. Oh. Go there. I mean, it gets you a dragonfly and... A uh, resource, if that's what you want to do. Right. It or is, an amulet, or yep. your choice. So I will, I think I'll just turn the resource I'm getting into that dragonfly that gives me a three amulet. Okay, so you're getting a resource. Yep. Okay. So that one? That's the one. Okay. Oof. Uh, so you did this one. Correct. So in that. So that means I get either a point or, or an amulet. amulet. <laughs> yep. I think I think early on, hard to beat amulets. It it really is, and that's really why I built these buildings. Anywhere up until the last round, hard you, to beat getting amulets because right. you can't really use them at the, at the end of the game. But right, yep. All right, Gonzalo. You know what? I want to cross the river. So. Oh yes, I should have gotten three points for that. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Good call. Didn't I mention that's the easiest thing yep. to forget in this game? Mm. Checks out. Yep. <laughs> so there you go. Yes. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, and yeah, by the way, that is the only Mayo card. So we'll keep that <laughs> wow. in mind. Okay. I did not know that when I yep. took it. Fascinating. So there's a four already there. Yep. Uh -huh. So you can easily make yours a four or even a five. Um, well, wait for it. Or a six. Six. I, I, I could do it. Six is, I mean. I could do it. If you want 
It would really be nice to have more choice there, probably, if you were <laughs> no, going to get a six. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I'm fine with the four. I'm fine with the four. Uh, so I'll spend my big amulet. And this one becomes a four. Because it allows me to do the principal action. Mm -hmm. That is going to be this. Yep. And it is uh, either a dragonfly or a spirit. And it is going to be the free. Grab that one. Yeah. Okay. And then the building I'm going to be using, this is not immediately, I am using my. Should I use an amulet? Do you want an amulet? Or do no, you, want the you know Kadama? what? And I can go. No, it doesn't need to be that one. It's a, it's a, a, yeah. a wild. Oh, it could be. Oh, that's wild, actually. That's why. Kodama gone, gone wild is what yeah. that is right there. That's why. Notice it does not have the arrow. Arrow, arrow pointing So it down. could be on yep. any of the five tracks. That is a fair point. Good point. Four, six. I am already there. So let's start in the six one. Here we Watch go. It. All right. By the way, this is, <laughs> this is awesome. Edgar says hello from Chile. How oh. many glory to Rome so far with Ken? Ha 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 ha. Your 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 reputation has made it down to Chile. You know what's, what's, what's so funny is I feel like it's just reputation. I don't. I mean. Oh no! Not if you're sitting on this side of the table. Listen, it doesn't. Listen, I would say, let's stream intrigue again. Oh, all right. <laughs> and then and then we can have some glory to Rome. Yeah, oh, uh, or we would have to make that a glory to Rome stream so I could actually let loose uh, my opinions on that. Oh, that Shrey was so nasty in that game. Um, okay. Well, now that I know these things uh, a little bit better, we're, now that we, we have competition in both, but we're just going to go ahead and take sure. the, the G card. There's only two of these. I'm yep. going to go ahead and... Help you out with that. Uh, oh, yeah, I flipped it over. <laughs> Thank you. That's a two. Boom, done. You're up. Oh, am I? You are. I pass. Okay, because you yep. can't go anywhere. You're done, but around. Yeah. But I am going to cross the river with my four that becomes a three. And in my case, I am doing this action. I'm not going to get. Okay. Yeah, because I want. That is covered up. Yeah, I want. I guess tech here. I'm gonna show folks yep. for, but yeah, no, it's just never gonna come into play. I mean, like, if you, there we go. We all right. Yeah, those are really the only ones that need to be covered because these are. Yeah, it's that obvious. Gone, the card right? ain't there, right? Exactly. You can't take it, right? I'm gonna get one of the actions. The two actions I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna get this rock. Okay. okay. And the rocks just yes, to everybody. Let them yep. know that are the only ones that are not replenished. Yeah, that, right. what you Whatever got is what done. you got. There's yeah. seven done. extra rocks out there. And I'm going to put it here. Okay. And the other action I'm going to be doing, it is actually uh, getting vision cards. All right. All right. A couple of two, them. Two, and one, then two. pick one. And, ooh, six, six. I already have this. Two, I already have. I'll get this for sure. I think I need the Imamushi card. I think I need to. So, yeah, let's go and roll over. So that's going to be a three. And as much as I would like the Potoku card, there is going to be a reason that makes sense uh, to go ahead and take the Imamushi. So I will take the Yokai. Okay. All right. Ken's passed. I pass. And I pass because... We have our cards played, mm -hmm. we can't place any dice, and we can't cross any rivers, yep. so we're done. So that's the end of summer. Right, now which is the autumn. main part. Now, autumn, new turn order. Same as it ever was. Yep. If anybody goes to any of these spots, they move up in turn order, and then relative order, but as it is, yep. Yep. nothing. So that's autumn. And now, winter. winter, here we go, five steps. First one, take your dice back. You can choose to place them on any spot you like. Right. So mine are three, three, two, and I haven't unlocked any of my pink yep. ones, but I'll go ahead and go left or right, just three, three, two. That's fine. All right. So that's step one. Step two, if you have at least five yokai cards. So for instance, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. I think we all do. Somehow I have seven. 
Um, okay. So if Maybe you have at least five, you may, and I'll go ahead and show folks my, my cards here, you may choose any of the ones that you actually played to discard for the remainder of the game. So mm -hmm. I have my discard pile over here. But what we're talking about is this little spot right here to tuck it away, and it just goes away. And I think I will go ahead and take my Kappa card, which is risky because I don't have any more Kappa cards, but yep. I'm going to immediately get whatever is at the bottom, which in my case there, three points, that's going to go away. It's still going to count for me at the end of the game for having the Kappa card if I have mm -hmm. that, whatever, but three points... Right there, boom, done. I will do it as well. I'm gonna, in my case, do it with my Imamushi. Hey, welcome to the game. Oh, <laughs> and I will nice. also discard my Kappa because I already have a, another Kappa, a better Kappa. A better yep. Kappa. Yep. yep. So that's another three points. All right, now take all remaining yokai cards on your board, put them into your discard pile. So yep. these bad boys will then go into your discard pile. Then advance the great spirit. We go into the there next round and prepare for the next round. So welcome to the second round. The second round is draw cards that you have four in your hand. If you have any cards left in your Which hand. we all do, right? No, no, in your hand. Yep. Oh, it is possible. Yeah, sure. We don't. But if you have any, they stay in your hand. Yep. Draw back up to four. There's one. So we all. And then, yep. in my yeah, case, I'm going to draw three of these. So, all right. So one here. Some of these are definitely better than others. Eh. I mean, I, eh. One, two, three, four, and there. So now, when we get back to that step at the end of the round, how many cards do you have? I have four, I have five, so I am going to be able to tuck one of these cards. But if I don't get another Bato or uh, Yokai card, I won't be able to do that in a third round, yep. and I'm giving up points by doing that. So keep that in mind. Yep. So these four cards... Hmm. Um, Maybe it helps picking your cards or deciding which one you want to discard if we set the Oh yeah, uh, yeah. The cards. yeah. So... Next round. I, I forgot we're supposed to do that. So, any cards that remain up here go away. Yep. Here, only the innermost will go away, otherwise they slide in and then refill. The rocks do not refill, buildings don't refill, but the Botoku and the Yokai cards will. This. Thank you, I forgot to mention that. I appreciate it. Yeah, sometimes it may help. Yep. Uh, it may help uh, your discard. Decide. Yeah. Yep. And we also oh, this is, set these I available think, I again. This goes to the bottom of that. Yes, deck. correct. Yep. And now, the, I think, are, are y'all following along? For those that are unfamiliar with how to play Botoku, hopefully that was kind of a good teaching round for everybody, because now things are about to kick into gear. And we're going to cruise through the rest of this game so y'all can see how oh. quick it actually So the play. Yokai. That uh, you get, it is not going to the discard pile. It goes to your hand. It says uh, here. Moment. It's possible we played that wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, the potato. No. Moment. If that were true, add it to your hand. I would have a very different hand. Add it to your hand. So for me. Luckily, I drew the one I took, so problem solved. Okay. Um, so, okay, so I have this set of three cards at the start of the round. Okay. Because I had these two in my hand. This one I know is the one I didn't draw last time. Okay, so I know and, I that, got those and then you three. draw one more. Good. All right, good call. Thank you for the fix on that. Yep, you're right. You are correct. My bad. So, what do I want to discard? None? Actually, fascinating. Uh, so it's funny, the card I don't want to play is the card I like to tuck. <laughs> um, Although it's funny, like, my one of the cards I have is the Yama Uba card. Yeah. And she's great, but she's also six points. So I don't feel too bad about tucking her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm going to discard the Kitsune. So keeping those three in my hand. Uh, turn order is the same. Yep. Uh, income. Am I the only one that has? No, you have, right? Income? Yeah. I have I income, so I get one of those. Done. I'm going to take a wood. I don't have income. Okay. And again, income is the empty hand symbol. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So, I'm curious. 
Now let's play it, not on turbo speed, but play it normal and let's see how sure. quick we can do this. So, yep, yep, yep. 43, go. Here we go. Okay. Um, this is... And while you're thinking, I'm gonna show everybody at home what the tiles were that came out. I think they're all pretty self-explanatory at this point. I'm gonna play the Nezumi. Okay. Um, I'm going to play it here, which means I get a sake immediately. And I'll unlock this die. I get an amulet whenever I play this new special Nezumi. Yep. Yay. Um, and I can also build a building or take a crystal. And crystals... Um, they're pretty cool. Better that than a sharp stick in the eye. Take a step sharp. one is not, not too shabby. Um, and buildings are also not bad. Huh. That's a take two steps if you have five pips on your dice. And you Go guys ahead. are pip machines, so you guys might be very interested in that. A uh, point in a uh, amulet's not terrible. Yep. Okay, I talked myself into it. I'm going to spend a rock. Okay. So it sounds like that one. Build that building there. Uh, uh, we'll put water. it in the water space here. I need a building marker. You need a building this marker, do you? Here you go. To Kadama and a level one on Oh, you. sweet. Doing, sir. ECPC. In my case, I am playing also Nezumi. I'm activating one of my fours, and I'm getting a crystal. And the crystal I am getting is the uh, free one because anytime I get a vision card, get vision, I mean, I get two points. I'm However, again, this is another clarification. Remember, you draw two, keep one, or discard them both and get a resource. If you discard them both, you don't you get the two points. So keep that in mind. No, Ted. I... All right. Yeah, I uh, have to do this because I needed to awaken Pilgrim. Mm. I think this makes the most sense to do that. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and play Nozumi. And that unlocks that die. I'm going to go ahead and get a crystal as well. And the crystal I get is, you know what? I'm good with that. Uh, I'm going to have to pay a resource, which is going to be the only resource I have to be able to do that. But that's going to be a... Uh, Sake, but that's gonna when I unlock my three, gonna be able to give me a step. So mm. that seems good, and it gives me another pilgrim there, and I get rid of that. Done, yep. sir. Okay, I'm gonna spend one amulet. I'm gonna turn this into a four. I'm gonna go here. Uh, I am going to choose to take a, a, one amulet, which gives Gonzalo a point. Got it. Up to fifteen. Thank you. Yep. Okay. And then I can either take a spirit or take a dragonfly. I'm going to take a spirit. Uh, I get a one resource discount because you got that little thumbs up there. And those two guys are the same, and they're both free. So I have neither. So does uh, Gonzalo. We neither of us have. I either. guess in theory, Saki's harder to get. So I'll take the jade one because they're also also both one point. So oops, sorry. Um. And so I get another one amulet. I also get to unlock a die, so what the heck, why not? I'll unlock that die, and I'm going to combine them, which gives me a three amulet. That Ooh. doesn't suck. That'll do, pig. Done. That'll do. D-U-N. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to play, you don't write? Yep. I'm gonna play strong. Hey, here comes a six. It's a six. Oh my. Nothing wrong with a six. So what's he blocking off? I'm going here. Yep. First, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing this first. Okay. That is both and Get both with a discount of yep. one resource. Okay. So mm -hmm. that crystal is for free. This one? Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna set it up here. Then, 
the building is going to be for free because it cost one stone and it is going to be I mean, they're all one pit buildings, interestingly enough. That's just so it is just one bump, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I think... And they're all a point for the owner, so it's just the bonus and whatever you get. Yeah. So, so let's, let's go on. I'm going to get this. The only one I cared about. <laughs> Glory to Rome! <laughs> <laughs> that it is a green one. Turn order matters, I suppose. And I'm going to go here because I know... Everybody wants to walk. I think is it matches, right? Yes. And I'll sit. And you get one, you are brown. That goes brown there. There. And now I'll do the bottom the building. Alright, purple. Do you want an amulet or a point? Hmm. I still want an amulet. Okay, and, and so I'll get I couldn't buy an amulet last turn. All of a sudden not such a big deal. Right. Now so, now you need two resources. I don't have them. Oh, oh, oh. So maybe you <laughs> won't do that. I won't do that. I'm so sorry. That's give okay. up swimming a little shallower. Yeah, it's okay. fine. It's fine. It was a nice action. Oh, thank you. Hey, did I mention that's the easiest thing <coughs> in the game to forget? Yeah. Hey, thank you, Peanut Gallery. Hit me with a point. Clearly, Ken is on Team uh, uh, Team Ken. <laughs> Thanks, Shrey. Team Ken? Yeah. Oh, I mean, Shrey's always on my team. Yeah, obviously. <clears throat> All right. So. Uh, Okay, I want that, so that, and I don't have the resources, the problem. Right. Oh, that's ugly. Oh, that's unpleasant. Okay, um, oh, that actually works. If that is less important, I could do that. I need to make it a five. And a five gets me two re- oh, that's, that's so good. Yeah. All right, so... We're gonna turn this three into a five, and we're gonna we're gonna head on out. So we'll discard two of those. That becomes a five. I know where you're going. That'll go right there. Mm -hmm. And so the five is gonna be two resources. That's gonna be a sake. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I want to have options for that. Give me a jade, yep. please. There's no reason for it not to be those. I think. So that is two resources. Then I could activate any of these. I'll go ahead and walk twice. So that means purple is going to get a amulet, amulet and, and, and a, a point. point. I got your yep. point. And I said walk twice, right? Yep. Like an Egyptian. Walk tall. So that's going to be eight points. Yep. And uh, let's see. I could take a rock or I could place one down. I think I will go ahead... I think I will take a rock, and then I will take a vision card. So the rock that I'm going to take is... Hmm, a moment, a moment. I didn't look at that part. You took that one. I have taken a Nizu... No, I have not. What did I take? Imamoshi. I took a... Yeah, you know what, actually? That's worth a point. Let's, let's stick with buildings. We'll go and do that. So that was here, and then take a vision card. So eight points to 19, and two vision cards. That's me, Ken, go. Hmm. One part, that gives me three matched up. And two read, yeah, I can do that. Okay. So I'm going to take this currently unlocked three and spend two amulets to that make it a, like a nickel. five. Um, I think I because know. importantly, it goes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you are welcome to take a point and a single amulet because I'm going to take... <clears throat> Who is? Oh, is he? Is, it is. Is that or no? Yeah, boo. Yep. And I'll take the I feel point. less good about yeah. that. That's, right, okay. that's an that's okay. awesome building. <laughs> it really is, right? Pretty and so, what did you take? Good building. Um, dragonfly or three amulet for dragonfly that. or three. So, so weirdly, I'm thinking about a dragonfly. No, I don't think so. At this point, you have My a three amulet. Amulets are in I mean, pretty good shape, sense, right? Yeah. So, I think I am gonna take a discounted dragonfly. Um. 
and it's discounted Boy, by one, so it's free. Or res get the resource free. diversity is just not great. But why oh my, would, oh wow, why, that's... Would, why wouldn't I take the one that gives me a resource? I right? Mean, yeah. yeah. So I'll do that. And come on down here. So you get a resource. Yep. Get a resource of any kind. What kind should it be? And three steps. Give me three steps. Uh, I will take a... So how many of y'all watching have never played yeah. Batoku now? Here we go. Um, and you said, and three steps. Yep. Oh, yep. yes. Yeah, we go to the action. So we'll go a one, a two, a three. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's right. it. Done. We'd and love to you, take one now, more step. to be right. clear, cannot cross the bridge because hasn't stepped onto a Batoku card on here, so. Okay. All true. I'll play my uh, upgraded Kappa. Yep. That activates my, my die. As I play the card, I get a wood. Yep. This, all, this Kappa allows me to activate another die, so he's already activated. Nice. And also, I'll Take have two steps. steps. I have here a pilgrim, and I am going also that way. Hmm. One, two. Okay. Makes sense. Done. So I had a plan, but I kind of diverted because I needed resources. Mm. And, but that still worked now out. You got I, like, I'm not complaining too, too much on that. So now that I have the resource that I need, I think what I will do is... Yeah, it's just less exciting. So, uh, Shinokami, yep. uh, I'll go ahead and take... You get a step. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Um, all right, so I guess we'll go ahead and bring somebody out. Yep. And left everyone's right. going right, I'll go left. <laughs> Easy enough. And then for the actual action, Dragonfly or uh, Matama. And I think I will go Matama. It's just the question of, do I want this one or do I want... That one. Those are my two options. Mm. And do I want to unlock the die right away? Having a step on the Kadama track seems good. Is it worth it? I get two extra points. I spend the extra resource. You know what? I'm going to be conservative and take that one. So it's going to cost me a... Uh, I keep wanting to call it Yakuza. That's funny. Sake. There. That goes away. There we go. Then this is going to go ahead and join up with the existing dragonfly. Boom. So it's going to get me an unlocked die. That's going to get me a level one amulet. Then it's going to get me a resource of my choice, which is going to be that sake back. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be, you guessed it, another one of those. One, two, done. Ken. Okay, um, could cross the river, I suppose, in theory. Seems aggressive. So I'm going to play my other Nizumi. Other Nizumi, as we call him. <laughs> Nizumi the younger. Yeah, well, he's actually older, <laughs> okay, but he's right. less good. So, um, and I could take either a crystal or a build a building. And there's nothing wrong with that jade for unlocking a die, except all my dice are unlocked this round, mm -hmm. and it costs two resources. So I'm not doing that. So it's it's I'm building a building. The only question is, which building am I building? Well, you um, got two choices. I do have two choices. They're both good in their own way. I feel like the step's probably going to get used more. OK. So I will take the step. Uh, build it. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. And I'm choosing the one on the left. Okay, that one goes away. It, it was just easier. Ah, I've I already see. got some of the stuff. So, And this is a water building. And so the choices for that, there's one available here. There's one available over there. And there's one available there. And you know, you know, we haven't seen a lot of actions in this area yet. Um, but boy, a free step is pretty nice, I think. It does not. We'll just see. I'm gonna. I'll speculate. Going here. See what. See what happens if I do that. Um, that costs me both a rock and a wood. Okay. Yep. 
Done. So, um, I have both dice uh, activated. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play my three um, in order. Huh. Yeah, to be clear, uh, whenever you start your path up there at the very top, mm -hmm. the first step is the first step. So it's one. Yeah. So it's as if all of your uh, pilgrims are right there at yeah. the gate. Right. So just, just to clarify. Virtually there. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So. The interesting thing is I think actually... So I'm going to need both because if you take a look... There we go. That's a little bit better. So if you take a look at my board here, or not my board, but my uh, vision cards, I need one there mm -hmm. that has ended his pilgrimage there, but I also am going to need a total of two, three, and three. So basically I need three made it up. So I'm going to need, like I can make a case for a whole bunch of this stuff. Yep. Um, I think instead what we're going to do is we're going to double it up. We're going to move him up north, actually. One. And he's going to go to sleep. Single so, amulet and two points. Okay, single amulet and two points, which gets me to 22. Boom, yep. done. And then... Two, three. Done. Book it, Dano. Okay. Here we go. That's me. I'm going to spend three to turn this two into a five. Yeah, five. I'm going to go there. Okay. Instead of taking the three, I'm going to take the one. So that's a step. Okay. Do that. That's what, just two points? Two points and then a three amulet. Oh, right. Yeah, not just. Sorry. Yeah. My bad. Okay. Um... And then for my action, I will build the final building okay. at a discount. Correct. Um, Which means it's minus one of So the instead two. of costing two rocks, one yeah. costs one rock. Yep. And it's a red one, which is there, 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 there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow your heart. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I suppose it's not going to get used very much, but there's no buildings here, so I'll put it here. And Anybody who goes there might might hit me with a point or so. So, yeah. Good job. All right. Yep. Gonzalo. That's yep. Me. Uh, I already have both dice activated, but it is so expensive going to any of the actions available. All four oh, because five. Four, five. Yeah. Well, those are a lot, but five. Those are a lot. Five. Yep. Then I'm going to be yes. playing my card instead. And I'm playing my Yama Uba that I just got it. Yep. I saw. Thank you. And it gets Dragon it gives me two amulet. Yeah, two amulet. That I'll need them in the future. Hard to be too to angry. Go about that. somewhere. <laughs> and the dragonfly I'm gonna get is those are identical. The free one. Okay. Yep. The free Done. one. Alright. Uh so I have an unlocked die. I can't remember how, but I do. Or did yeah, I? with with there. Somewhere you you stepped somewhere. Oh, right here. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah. Yep, good call. So, do I want to place that out? I mean, I have a three amulet, which gives me. Yeah, I can Five, put it you out. Can play right. It. Um, Any of the spots. Yep. And I only need it to be a four. I think I'm gonna make it a five because a five's tasty. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? You don't get change whenever you use a three amulet. So, if you, like, were to turn a four into a six. Can't do it. Can't do it. So, well, you can, you but it's wasted. Just lose the, lose so, the I'm going to go ahead, since I'm moving up three, I'll use the three amulet. Yeah. And then it leaves me flexibility with the single. So, that's yes, going to be a right. five. So, that two is going to be a five there. Oh, God. And I'm a resource short is why I didn't make it a six. Because had I made it a six, I would have got, oh, but that's a discount each. You oh. Discount on both. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to actually turn it straight up into a six. Daring. Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. I like it. You know. I like and it. The reason is 
I get both and I get a discount on both and I get one of these. Mm -hmm. And I will go ahead, we, we're not really moving much. So let's go ahead and... Wild Kodama. That'll be that. Mm -hmm. And then I get both of those. So you should have discount, so the dragonflies free. Right, and they're identical, they're so the same. whatever. I'll don't, take don't, that don't one. Don't worry yourself too much over it. Right. <laughs> and then I will take, uh, I'll go ahead and do this one. Three points. Yep. And that's going to just cost me a sake because one reduction. And I get to immediately do them both. So yeah. it's going to be three points. That just seems good. And then a crystal with a reduction of two, which means that yeah. is going to go, sorry, there. Unlocks that for free for placing my last die. I'd like to say I planned that, but mm. so that was the free crystal. I get a. Hmm, I'll go ahead and work on some Kadama action as well, and I'm already on second because top to bottom. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on the path at least a little there. And the other important thing is in one action for using the extra pip. That gave me the third one, which is what I needed for that stuff. Yep. So that yep. just seemed like a good idea, even though it's going to drop to a three yeah, from a five yep. instead of a four. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that, really. I'm done. That's okay. it. So pretty simple action for me, crossing the river, going down from five to four pips. And I want the Matoku card, which is a uh, Makoto. Okay, how many? Is that a three? It's a five. A five. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll... Use my, uh, these two, so my four is a six. Oh. And I'm going here. Did not mention that, that's a fair point. I will, Shrey, go ahead. And uh, with my six, it gives me three resources that I need. I don't have sake, I don't have jade, and. I did not pay my sake. And I'll need an extra rock in the future, probably. And uh, going with a six, I could activate any of these guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I could make a case for both. Uh, or either, I should It's going to be Ken's. Boo. All right, so a point and, and an amulet. An amulet. And, and I have two steps. Yep. That it is going to be. That's, no, not I, I, that's me. No, that's you. There is one other really important thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, Any time at the gates where you have a sleeping, oh, where you've parked somebody, they've reached the end of their journey, you can start on the space below it yep. instead of at the gate itself. Yep. So, so purple, for instance, one. can start right there. And two. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, you'll notice since that spot's blocked, you skip it. Yep. You get the lesser region, but again, you get to only, start it only now. Only There's only there. one, one, one fewer point. Yeah. So. And it is a gate, so I activate this gate. Yep. So that's a three. And I give you your point already. Okay. And I think two steps. That's and, it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, right. So now, it's important for me. I'm glad you didn't do that because I really wanted that. Uh, uh, you really want this one? No, actually, I want, really the, want the Nizumi, Nizumi card. I we were, we were. I, I had a feeling we weren't competing. Really? Over that resource. So. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> well, now. Uh, <laughs> uh, he doesn't take it up. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be that. You know, I'm gonna stay on target. <laughs> that's, that's a fair point. So that drops to a three, and I'll take the Nizumi. Yeah. Go right. straight into my hand, it does. which is interesting to note. Even though my die is gone, I still could play the Nizumi card yep. if I want. You right? could. You will. Uh, uh, it kind of doesn't matter. Except, I suppose, that while I'm not competing right now, I could be next time. And if both of you guys place here, I'll be, I'll be put to the test. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to go ahead and do one of these... Uh, well, well, that's that's what I need to figure out. Take a goal, or Kodama, and somebody else loses to Kodama. Yeah, I mean, you guys have met me before, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Uh, all right. Okay, I could. Um, 
Well, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna cross the river. Why not? That's right. It's gonna That's be a spirit. Three? That's the wait for it. Spirit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been summer for a while now, but. <laughs> and uh, you know. I assume it's the kappa, just because you have the kappa scoring, right? Yeah, but the problem is that I just have one uh, Toku cards. Oh. So, uh, let's go, let's focus. I'll get the kappa. Okay. That goes come back on again. Oh, okay. Stay on target, Ooh. stay on target, stay on target. All Not my bad, dice are huh? up there. Yep. Um, you know, it's not super sexy, and I'm not in competition to race on either of those two mm -hmm. spots. So I'm going to go ahead and play my Imamushi, yeah. which gives me a, you guessed it, there, a resource of my choice, which is going to be, it's basically the same thing. Uh, Either a wood or a stone. Yeah, so I'll go stone, I guess. And do you get a jade when you place there as well? And I get a jade because even though the die, yep. right, I get it for that. Yep. And boom, that's there me done. And the reason I play a Mamushi is so I could bury it yep. for eight points at the end. Go ahead. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I could do what Edward just did, but I'm, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to uh, go ahead and cross the river here. I don't want this ray because I already have one. And you can you can get multiple sets. Could. Theoretically. Not after right. that right yeah. now. So I'm going to um, put uh, one of my mini pilgrims to sleep. I think I will put him to sleep here, which costs me a resource of any kind. We'll make it a jade. Okay. Um, and then I can also take a rock. I do think I want a rock. And given what I I've, want to rock. Given what I've built so far, I think the Nizumi one probably yeah, the Nizumi, the rat guy yeah, makes the most right. sense. Yep. So we'll put him there. Okay, my three. Uh, I can get a discount of one with a three if I get a spirit. Okay. I'll keep it. Ooh, interesting. Yep. So that gives me uh, one, f first of all, I'm going to get a one amulet. Okay, yep. And then either a dragonfly or... It's going to be a, a spirit. Okay. And is well. it the one left that I have one discount, so I'm not paying one of the sakis. Okay, so, so sake I pay sake and, and jade. jade. I that is five okay. points. It is. Yep. I got you five. 21. And I put it together with a dragonfly. So, I activate another die that I don't have. I get two resources, and I'm going to get another sake and another jade. And then either step or an amulet. Uh, as I already, I'm already here. You can start right below there, and you've yep. already uh, have a Taking Butoku, so... Step. And you not only have to have one, but have taken a step, right? Right. Yeah. So you check. get to start yep. there, and okay, you checked it good, and there you go. Boom. Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. All right. So uh, all my dice are out here already. So now it's just a matter of let's keep it simple. That's going to go from a five to a four, and I'm going to take Chugi. Yep. There we go. Boom, done. That's me. Okay. I'm playing my final card. Yama Uba, she gives me two resources of any kind. I'll figure that out while you guys take your turns. All right. I pass. I have nothing to do because I cannot cross the river. Cross the river. Yep. I already played my, played my cards and I don't Taking two rocks, in case you guys are curious. And here, okay, so uh, real quick, uh, do I want uh, Kitsune? Which I have one, two, three, four, five, six cards, so I'm okay if I don't take it. But the bottom of it says add two dice, pip value, uh, score that many points, up to a max of 12 if I were to tuck that card. I don't know if that's worth it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and take two vision. I'm going to do that instead in its mm. book so we don't need to mark it. That's why it never really made sense. So I'm going to actually take two vision cards, and I'm going to go ahead and move one of my pilgrims down there. They go to sleep. Yep. And two vision cards. 
One, two. Ken? Uh, I must pass. I can't. I don't have any more actions I can take. Is it just me then? Uh, I have to figure this out. Uh, I don't have anybody at a gate, but I'm about to. So that would be here. That is a bottom. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to be able to get that. Get two. Re that's a lot of resources. That's five resources left over at the end of the game. Or this is two, three, and four. Another one, which is one, two, three. I already have that. Let's not be dumb. I'm going to take the four-pointer on that because I think I'm pretty close to having that already. Okay. And done. So end of the round stuff, right? Yep. Okay. Turn order. So turn order. Uh, the same. Same. Yeah, nobody has gone there. So now take your dice back. Yep. All threes. Four, four, three. So me, because I have my unlocks over here, the things to unlock, will go there. Then uh, if you have five yokai cards, I'm going to go ahead and bury the Imamoshi, which that's for every spirit card. Get two points to a maximum of 12. I have five. That's 10 points. That seems good. 35. Yeah. The Vishen cross, yeah. Just score three for me. I'm, I'm burying my original Nizumi. Three. One, two, three. And six for me. I'm going to bury six. Yan, Yamauba. Ah. So this guy goes one step farther, and we, uh, we got to prepare the game for the next round. So All right, goes, so uh, that slides over. Yeah, we'll swap, yeah. Yep. This goes here, this goes here. One, two, three, and four. Here we go. Okay. And four buildings. And, yep. Let's go to uh, the income. income. Did shuffle those. Uh, all right, well, income. I get yeah. an amulet. I don't have. Uh, the cards get into the discard, right? Yep. So I have one card left in hand. That's mm -hmm. two. Draw two more. I have three others left over. I have two in hand, so Here. three. Pick one. Okay. That is, okay, that'll be the one left over, and then I'll draw the other two. That works. Ugh. I'm four. Ugh. I hate two of my options, so I'm keeping these for sure. Uh, I want to build a building. I think I do. Yes, I do. I'll discard this. Uh, I will go ahead and take my. Um, we'll get discarded. There we go. Uh, take a wood for my income. Uh, and I got my uh, amulet. Yep. All right. Uh, so uh, we got our income. Ken, yep. go for it. Okay. So I am going to. Yeah, it's interesting. None of us have done there, even though people aren't crossing the river. Nothing unlocked. So, so I'm going to play Nezumi. Mm -hmm. When I play Nezumi, I always get a sake. Or when I play in that spot, I always get a sake. So I'll get sake. I'll unlock that die. You get an amulet? I get an amulet, a uh, uh, green amulet. And then I can either build a building or I can do a crystal. So, um, is there a red or a... Um, There's a re two red buildings, mm -hmm. and those are the like twigs with the okay. leaves. Yep. Um, I think given what we see, I am going to go ahead and build the income um, crystal. Oh, income crystal. Sorry, yeah, there's that only, one? There's only, no, there's only, yeah, the free uh, one. Yeah, income, I, I heard yep. you. Right, got you. Yep, so I'll yep. go ahead and do that. Go there. Awake a guy. I am done. I play here my Shin Okami. Yep. Anytime I play there, I get, get wood. wood. And I am getting uh, a spirit that it is going to be the big guy. This one? Yes. So two uh, I sake no, and... I don't have two, so okay. I thought I had two sakas. No. Less big guy. That Less one you could do. Guy. Yeah. Let's do that. That is going to be three points. He's one sake and mm -hmm. one gade. Okay. So and he's also points. one of the purple spirits, wilds, if you which will. Which is a wild. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's three points. And I'll match it. Very oh, nice. There you go. So you can I can... Put one of your pilgrims to rest. 
this guy actually. Book. Oh wait, doesn't he have to take a step to do that? Yeah, that gives me he a step. He gets a step. Yep. Oh, so you're gonna put two pilgrims to rest. Because the other one is gonna also go to rest. I don't have it. Oh. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna. Well, you could always wait and do it later, right? You don't have to combine them in immediately. You don't. So you take the step now for the spirit. Let's let, let's do it because I want I need this. Yeah. Okay. Boop. And four points. Four points, and uh, thirty-four. Two yep. that uh, amulet. Yep. Done. All right. So. Yeah, this makes sense. I think that gets me both, and I have the. Re yeah, let's not be dumb. Okay, so I am going to Shinokami there, which gives me a step. The step is going to go on to Chugi. Mm. Chugi is going to be two, two points, points and a, and dragon, a dragon fly. And uh, Shinokami is going to get me the bottom part as well, so mm. I'm going to get another nice. match of it, and I might as well. So the dragon fly, I mean, a free crystal seems good. So we'll go with that. Yep. And then I only have a jade, so it'll be that one. So I will take both of those. Okay. Which will get me a free crystal. Hmm. And every time I take a crystal or just a kadama for twice. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I might as well. I'll take the that one. Yep. There. And then I will go ahead and unlock a die. As opposed to the one amulet, since I got a ton of those. And I will go ahead and unlock that one. And that crystal, oops, will go there. Sorry about that. Okay. There. Done. And that gives me a fourth set. That's me. Okay. Hmm. I was going to take a double action. And that cost me a jade. Did you get the, the point? I did not. That's a point for that, and I took that one, which should have gotten me a resource back, which will be a, no, uh, sake, please. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, hold on, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Stoned, I'm getting one there. Uh, sake, thank you, done. Oh, this is a bit, uh, oh yeah, that's, yeah. Ken, it is your honor. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought I knew what I was going to do, but now I'm a little confused. I um, did I throw you off on because of that? <laughs> like, was were you planning on those? No, I was thinking I would take that, get a Kodama. But oh, now that the, one, yep, right now exactly. it's more expensive. Now it's a little more expensive, and I really don't I feel like it's too late to take the get two points for playing a crystal. I just don't have enough crystal spaces left on my board. Yeah, see, I've taken four yeah. now, so I feel you on that. Uh. Wee, 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 wee. So yep, I'm just gonna I'm gonna spend one amulet, turn this into a five, go here. Um, That's expensive, or it's a high high cost. Glory to Rome. <laughs> uh, uh, I will. Um, but you know what? I'm actually gonna help you out. Okay. Because I'm gonna put a great building on the board <laughs> that you're definitely gonna want to use. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, at a discount. So I need to pay. Uh, one stone and one wood. Um, I will put um, the five value guy there. Yep, that's the one. On the red space? Yeah. Over here? Yep, okay. right there. You get two steps. Actually, you know. Okay, just mm -hmm. kidding. Yeah, we'll go here. Okay. Two steps on the Kadama track, two and steps you get a level one there. amulet. Level one amulet. Swimming in those things. Uh, I okay. could now also choose to take. A crystal. a crystal or a step, but the or crystal, one resource, two resources. Yeah. A little more expensive, little more expensive than I really want to spend. So it sounds like uh, give me step. a step. You do have Take the tokus step. over there. Yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely what I'm doing. So that's two points and two kodamas. I got your two points up to 13. You can split two them if you want. Two kodamas. Splitting doesn't sound like such a bad idea. We'll go um, one here and one there. Because now I'm first. There we go. Okay, now you made me spend. I made, made you spend. You can yeah. go, look. Go here yeah. with a five. I need, so no, great. the problem is that I need a crystal. Oh, I see. I need a crystal. Aha. Two 
that makes this a 5. I go here. So with a 5. With a 1 discount, so it's either free yes. or 1. Uh, you could also use the, the extra action to get that. Yeah. Just, just saying you could. You could clear it out yeah. of crystals. But the problem is that uh, I don't have. I do have resources. You but, do. Uh, you sure but, do. Uh, but, uh, let, let's do it because I need to wake to uh, to make to to, yeah. to get pilgrims awake. Yeah. yeah. So I'll I'll use this. Okay. Yep. So, so first point, of all, I yeah. assume at this point because yeah, you have a million of them. I do have quite yeah. a few. So with the with the action itself, I'll get the discount in. So the, it's going to cost you two resources, no yeah, matter what, resources. right? To take them both because yeah. you get a discount of one. One and one. Yep. And, and that the one it's pilgrims. going here, and this needs to go here. And uh, done? Yep. Oh, well that's very kind of you to say, David. It says catching up by watching from the start, but I just want to say, this is the best teach of the game I've seen. Still don't want to own or buy it, but at least now I understand the attraction yeah, of you it. Get it. Yeah. So, mission accomplished. Nice. Okay. Cool, thank you, David. That's, that's a really big compliment. I appreciate that. We all appreciate it, yep. honestly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so I was figuring something, give a moment. Um, right, so that and that, I need to place that. I want that to be a five. And so I'm going to turn the four into a five. That's gonna come there. That's going to get me two resources, and that will be a stone and a sake, please. Stone and sake. And purple is going to get a point and a level one amulet, because I'm going to take two steps. So one point for purple and a level one amulet. Oh, I get both. Yes. And two steps. The steps will be up north. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. That'll be one, and I do I need a gate? I don't, but you know what? It's a good jumping off point, and it's a dragonfly. Mm -hmm. So I'll take the two points and a dragonfly. Mm -hmm. And you'll start from there. And it's a the free future. dragonfly, because it's at a discount. So all they're all available to you at oh, the same price. Thank you for pointing that out. So what do we want? Do we want more resources? Kadama at this point? Oh, maybe a Batoku card. For the last round, does it make sense? Yokai card. Uh, yokai. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 yeah. sorry. Notice the orientation of the card. Thank you. Um, I think the two Batoku. I'm sorry, uh, Kadama. Actually, yep. kind of is tasty. So real quick. So that was that. That was that. And I can start there, going that yep. way. That's me. Boom. Done. Yep. Go. Okay. So again, just talking this through again. I can take one of the spirits. I get the benefit, and I don't have to combine these, right? You don't you, have to do it right I away. I do not believe. I believe you may. Yeah. I don't want to. Because this says, get a free crystal. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, there's a distinct lack of those. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> ah, here we go. If you have a dragonfly available, you may. Uh, oh, may. Immediately attach it. Yeah. So, and plus, you might want to bury that one so you put something else on top so you get yeah. a better one and not really do that one. Yeah, so, well, I mean, yeah. I'll probably yeah. want to do that yeah. one eventually, but... Yep. Um, so if I don't do it, though, can I do it at any time? Mm. Fair question. On my turn? I believe it's when you... T you that's a good question. That is a fair, fair question. Let me see. Uh... Anytime you obtain a dragonfly or when you obtain a Matama spirit. Okay. Is what I'm reading it. Okay. Um, is when... It, it, when you I, can do it. I believe so. All right. Because it does spe yeah. uh, spell it out that those are the two times that you can join them. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That's helpful. Yep. yep there you yep, go. And Steven, Steven's backing me up on that or cool, cool. vice versa. So, yep. Okay. Not that Steven's the arbiter, but it feels validating, yep. at least. As, so. so, uh, 
things to think about. Um, Did I mention things are interconnected yeah. in this game? Playing yeah. Shinokami. Okay. Uh, taking a spirit. Okay. Spending a sake, getting a point, so taking that spirit. One point there, mm -hmm. I got your point. And Not currently connecting these two. Okay, but you got the bot, you, again, you get those immediately. You but don't. taking a single step, the single step is going to be to go there. And you activate your your dice. And I activate this die. Yeah. Yep, that's my, that's my turn. Good. Okay, I'll play my other kappa. I have like three kappas. I mean, he's swimming <laughs> in kappa. So that allows me to activate my die, getting a level one uh, amulet and two steps. That's why I needed the and the kurama. And the kurama. That's right. So let's step first. So I can start from here, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. Oh yeah, correct. Uh, a moment. You start here. Yes. So technically, can went there. Oh, great. It's okay. Be clear. Okay. Noted. Thanks, Shrek. Okay. Missed that. And I have two steps, so that means it's going to be one, one and two. Oh, there we go. Okay. And, and what you kadama. just said, the kadama. I think that. Uh, now we need to. Uh, let's move that one in the corner. Yeah. Got you. Yep. He's trying to climb. Uh, there we it. go. All right. Good. All right. So now. I'm not in competition there. I do want to get that out. I'm not in a rush for either one of those things. I think getting steps, but I kind of want that first. Oh, choices, choices. And having a step to be able to do that. Yeah, I guess so. Let's go ahead, even though it's not a rush, let's go ahead and do it. So five to a four. And I'll take the Botoku card. Interesting. Because we'll talk about this maybe a little bit at the, at the, in the round table, but I think we have just scratched the surface of how tempo works yeah. in, in this game. Yeah, a, yeah, the yeah. tempo is very interesting. Um, spending an amulet, turning this into a five, going here. Hmm. Importantly, taking two steps <laughs> to do this. Um, four points, build a building for free. Yep. Um, the building is going to be the... the Hold on. Sorry, four points. Sorry. There. Building and is going to be the red building that's available. Because that's the one you're going on, and where yep. do you want it? It's um, there or there, sir. Yeah, I guess this one's maybe a little more appealing. Let's put it over here. All right. Um, here's that. Thanks for the update, Jess. Sad, but understand. Drive two, safe. Two Kodamas. Yes. Purple. Okay. Um, and then I may take the action associated with the space, which is to get couple of resources. Uh, yeah. And I'll think about that while you guys do what you're doing. Okay. Gonzalo? Yep. Uh, update. Taking a sake and a jade. Okay. This is a six. <laughs> this three is a six. Woo! Oh, here. calm down. I'll use that guy. Oh, thank you. A, uh, so, which one do you want, Dragonfly or...? I want to game back my... <laughs> that yep. you just used. So yeah. that's a point, and... Because... Yep. This is nice, by the way, this little engine I got going of being able to boost. Yeah. That's really, really useful. And that's four steps, actually. Facts. This is one. Yep. I yep. cannot go... Because you only have a single Batoku. Yep. But you could go here. No. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. Short, it's short of the bridge. Notice that. Well, cool. you're right. One, two. Yep. Okay, so, six, so take that six and points six in points. Six points in a two amulet. Yep. Got your six up to 40. Okay. And then three and four. Checks out. Well done. Okay. Okay. That works. Oh, uh, one other thing about the path up there. You can't move backwards because mm -hmm. you're always on the, uh, on the path of wisdom. You can't lose wisdom. Okay. Thematically, <laughs> so you have to continue on the path. Um, and, like, for instance, if you were to be in either one of these two spots and somebody gets to you, that, mm -hmm. then he's just stuck there. Sad forever. To me. Okay. No, to it's you. me. It's me. All right. Uh, okay. So, since you've done that, I mean, it's free 
And that's five points. And that gets me a Batoku or a Kadama card and gets me that and five. Ah. Is it worth it? Sorry, uh, a moment. That gives me a ton of resources to. Yeah, let's do it. I got them to burn. F4 is going to turn into a six. Okay. That's going to go there. Get there. So, with that, um, purple, you get a point and a level one. There's your point. Get your level one amulet Ooh. for three resources. I'll figure them out in a wow. minute. I get both of those mm -hmm. at a discount of one. So, I, know I will. One is gonna be. There's the discount and a discount of one. So, that would be a sake and a jade. And a jade. So, sake and a jade. Do not here. forget your five points. Thank you. That's five to go there. Those will link up. I will go ahead and do that now. Uh, that's going to be still three. Make that four resources. Yeah, four resources and a Batoku card. I'm sorry, a Yokai yo card. card. So I get to draw top two Yokai cards. Yep. And uh, resources, yeah. That you'll figure it and, out. And yeah, and four resources. And I think, Ray, that Edward has that, that card. I think that card, there is just one in the whole yeah. deck. Yep. So nobody can complete the full set but mm -hmm. you. Right. Um, wow, that's actually really... The two steps is really nice, but I'm going to take the Shinokami, and it goes into my hand, so Kappa's going to get buried. Okay. But you didn't know that. All right, go ahead, Ken. So I'm competing here. I need to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to cross. Resources for you. Get oh, yeah, four card. resources. Thank you. And Easy. play it there. OK. All right, four resources. Let me think. Oh, I need these. That's free. What do I, I need? A wood. I will take a, I will take a wood, a stone, oh, my gosh. a sake, and a jade. Please. So I guess that's one of each. Yeah. Another glory to Rome. To whom? To him. Oh, okay. He took my oh. Bitoku. I <laughs> took your... <laughs> I would like to point out, eh? You have opportunities. I am. E, you can change turn order. I'm only... Yeah, I, can, oh, wait, I, I can get it. that one, but I don't want to take that one because I want this guy. I want the yokai. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you can always take this. If I, if I uh, FYI, I don't have so, yeah. I needed that one, and I needed one of those, so... Fair. So, no pressure here, no pressure here. I'll pay my card. I'll pay it here, I activate my tree, and I'll get a sake. That's it. Easy. Okay. So, all I could cross. Do I want to cross now and take that? That way, if I travel... Yeah, let's go ahead. So, go ahead, drop me three. to a three, and I'm taking the Batoku. More issues with YouTube. Yep, yeah, okay. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay. No bitoku, no bitoku. No bitoku is there. Hold it. All right, cool. All right, Ken, you're up. Uh, yeah, so that's becoming a six. The, it is going we are clearly right there. playing better than our last game. So this is our third game of yeah. this for Ken and I, and we struggled so hard to get our <laughs> pip values. Yep. Less so. Now, it's amazing when you play a game multiple times. This guy's asleep, is he? Yes. 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 Uh, so, um, so four steps. Um, two, uh, one, that's three points. Um, and a positive Kodama anywhere, and two negative Kodamas somewhere. Okay. So we'll go positive Kodama here. So that's, you say how many? Two positive? One positive, two negative. Okay, got you. And uh, can I split the two negatives? How does that work? Uh, I think so. That's actually, um, also, player aid yeah. here. 
pretty well. Um, so Edward can go back one on this. I'm gonna assume one. so, but Peanut Gallery can fix it if. And not. we'll j just out of fairness, we'll take Gonzalo back one. There. I, there you I, go. I, I appreciate okay. that. Um, so that's one step, two steps, two points, and a two amulet. It should be fixed now, y'all. So two more, two more points. I, I, those are the first two points I've given you this turn. Is that correct? Just want to make sure I didn't miss this it. round through. Yes. Yeah, yeah, probably. Or did you give action, your, did you give yourself an an? Oh, we haven't I, done it yet. No, uh, we haven't done it yet. Right. So one, two. Buckle my Three, four. And you're now on your third Botoku card. So yes, checks out. So you are rushing me there. You already have the Botoku card. So I do. You, like a, I need to move. Oh, hold on, he's not, did you get this? I, I haven't. Oh, okay. And I should decide. Hmm. Uh, you, to be clear, you do not have to. <laughs> but, I mean. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and take that dragonfly. Okay, so the last dragonfly, and yep. I will take a point and a level one amulet. And I'll, at, at this point, I will link these. Okay. okay. So so I'll get uh, two, I'll get two resources. And um, do you want a step or a an amulet? amulet? I assume a step. I assume. I got that already. Oh, did you? Okay. I got that when oh, I Oh, when, when you I got, got it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only that, right. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. Okay, as I said. Yeah. I gotta move. Yep. Fast. I don't want you to. You want that Batoku card? Yes. Or the, or the yokai, the yokai card. card. The yokai yep. card. Right. Goes, it, oh, because Kappa. Yep. Yes. All right. That makes sense. Mind. All right. Right, so crossed, crossed, card, card. Okay, so uh, to be clear, dead, dead, dead. There are none. So that may impact what you choose to do. So, <laughs> and, interested in building a building by any chance? <laughs> um, I would like to point out what my options are on my uh, cards here. Yep. Um, Useless unless I wish to do the bottom, which is a ton of points. Yep. But I kind of like this card, so no. Um, but uh, building a building is what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and play that bad boy, which unlocks that, which gets me a Kodama. And what this icon is, is draw another card to your hand. So flexibility. So that comes into my hand as well. Um, so I get a Kodama somewhere. And you know what? Here you go, Ken. And we'll just go ahead and jump right back up there. And... That wasn't uh, a good trade. <laughs> for the building, the building's going to be one of these. They're both the ones that I want as far as uh, what they help me because the type of building. So... Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to give people a little flexibility to go out there, so I'm going to choose that one. That's going to cost me a wood and a stone, and we're going to put this there. There, a wood and a stone. There you go. And two bumps. And two bumps. Oh, hey. Hey there. That works out. Terrible. <laughs> uh, so, that's me. Done. Okay. Um, God, there's, there's really not any hurry to do any of these things. Uh, nobody's beaten me to any of this stuff, but I suppose same same logic as before, if you guys could put me to the question if, if I don't move right. one of those. So I'm moving that down, drops from five to four pips. I am not taking this guy, but instead okay. I'm gonna do the, the one of each. Um, I, definitely want, I definitely want to put a guy here. Um, and I think I'm gonna draw two gold cards and see what, see what uh, Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, two of those? Okay. And, uh, yeah, vision cards, I suppose. Yep. Yes. All right, done. Go, Gonzalo. Yeah. Got it. Uh, go. These... There's one building. So what I'm going to be doing, it's... These that three... Way, can get buried. Yep. These three becomes a five. And I'm going here. Yeah, we'll talk about that, Shrey. Just remind us. That five allows me uh, either crystal, there is no any available, but there is one building. <laughs> Could I interest you in a building? 
Yeah. And by a building, I mean the building. The building. That's it for down here. Yeah. yeah we're done. So Played it, played it right out down there. As we it. probably should in the it third round, green. right? I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Green, green, green. There's just one spot available. This here. Okay. That's a good spot. That's co the cost a uh, stone and a wood. We'll allow it. And, that's and that gives two. me two bumps. Boop. And that's it. All right. Well, I could place something here to get resources. I would get the jade and whatever. So I now have two dead cards this round. Both of those. Oh my gosh. Um... So crystals, I have one, two, three, I have four, so that's eight points if I were to bury the Nozumi. This is going to be ten points if I were to bury the Shinokami. Um, I think I end up burying that Nozumi. So now the question is, what the hell do I want to do? I mean, I could place that out. You know what, I kind of, so what, in a perfect world, oh, you know what, yes, I have, so here's my dilemma, go here to get another vision card, take a step, eh. uh, or play it here to be able to do those two. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, if I do that, um, it's wasted. The main action. But it would basically get me two Kodama. Yeah. One on this and one somewhere else. That's why he didn't go there. Yeah. Uh, so, I think I'm going to kind of pause on that. I'm not sure what the right thing to do is there. So, in that case, I will wait, and I will just go ahead and play a card. And I'll just go ahead... Grab some resources, jade I guess. First. That'll be a jade for that. And I don't have wood. Let's go with the wood. There we go. And that's it. That's it. Uh, again, like no, nobody can really stop me from doing either of these things, but I'll go ahead and do this because I might as well do it eventually. Uh, turns from six to three. I don't really need this, so I'm I not going to take it. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to take two of each. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy to sleep down here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited about that. That's 18 points right there. Um, wow. Uh, still, really? he, he can still keep building. Six buildings. No, I, I can't. I don't have any more buildings. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's only six, sadly. I mean, plus the bonus wow. of, of building the whole building, the, the, all the buildings, that is a yeah. lot of points. Not bad. Um, but now I also take two gold cards and keep one. Hey, we hope that some of those gold cards involve having a lot of buildings on them. Let's go. All right. Okay. And Gonzalo? Yep, I cross the river. This is a four. First thing I do is two of those. Let's look at the bottom. One and two. I'll just hold on to it. That I'll decide in a minute. And the other thing I'm going to be doing, it is moving one of my... Uh, Kodamas, that it is actually going to be uh, yeah okay this guy done yeah and just need to decide what I'm gonna be doing and here. I will go and place this three just leaving it as a three because that's fine mm -hmm. we're just gonna do this one which gets me off the schneid a little yep. bit. Which is that, yes. and then I can do any of these. I could take their extra re. I'm swimming in them. Gotta, you right gotta now. spend some amulets if you want to take that one. If I want to what? If you want, you gotta spend some amulets if you want to take this one. Right, right. But I'm saying I don't, you don't need, need to. It. Yeah. So instead, I'll go ahead and just do that. Yep. And. I think I'll just continue on that path. Because I don't know how exciting this one's going to be mm -hmm. going on. Done. Ken? Edward, can you please give me two points? Because I did this action of getting vision cards and I have this uh, modifier. Honestly, you do. Two. Yes, sir. All right. 
Uh, I'm playing Yama Uba. She mm -hmm. gives me two Reese's of any kind. I'll think about that while you guys do your thing. Gonzalo? I have to pass. I, can, I can't cross the river here. I'm all, the, the rest of my dice are already at the other side of the river. Just taking all the sake. I'm crossing a river. I'm doing two. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these guys and just bring it down there and pay a resource. Mm -hmm. The resource will be a... Wood. Yeah. There we go. And then for the second one will be... Do I want a rock? Am I going to be able to score the rock? I only need... No, I would need two more. Is it worth it to take a rock at this point? I don't think so. So if I'm not going to take a rock, I think I'll take a vision and figure that out. Done. Okay. Ken? Pass. I have, right. I have already right. passed. A moment. Um, I'm at the gate. Cards. I have a gate. You have I a, do. one gate. Yeah. Yep. A resource and, yeah, we'll just, they're both four points, so I'll take that one. No, that's already done. All right. Okay. So it's up to you again. You have to pass. We... I think that's it. Yep. Okay. So, uh, all right. Turn order. Again, nobody is... It hasn't hurt me. I haven't felt like really. Yeah. Some of the limiting, that some of those are gone, but it's worth it. Take your dice back. Darn sure hadn't hurt me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I'm sure you haven't minded. That'll be four, two, and three. Then uh, you can bury a card. Yeah. Yeah, I have five cards. I'm going to bury this Nizumi. That's 12 points. Okay, take your word for it. Why is it 12, though, just uh, for the folks? Uh, two points per building. Checks out. Six buildings okay. built. And they give so. me also 12 points because it's maximum of 12, three points for, for each guy. And I have one, two, three. Like it's your I'm job. Sorry. Yeah, checks out. Well yep. done. 12, uh, one, two, and 10 is 54. Um, I'm bearing that Nizumi, which is two Price points crystal. per crystal. One, two, three, four. It's only eight. It's like eight. Only one, two, eight. three, and five. But back where I belong in first. Bad. So that goes okay. away. This takes us to the last round. Uh, take your yokai, put them in discard. I have two cards left in hand. I do have one. Uh, then one, two. Uh, refill and then draw and etc. So yeah, um, we need. There you go. Oh Pick wait. One. Middle one. Okay. So that stays, and these will go into my hand. And uh, interesting. And then refill out let here. Me prepare this. Out, out, out. Two, three, four. You take care of this. Yeah, it is easier. I got you. <laughs> and this is. Oh, these goes go out. Out. Yeah, as well. One, one, one. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. There it is. Okay, so. Okay, those are out. Take your income. Uh, uh, nothing. Um, I'll take a jade and a sake. I have to decide what to discard. Uh, I think, yeah, I did. we're going to get rid of Kitsune again. Okay. Um, leaving me three in hand. Well, that is. Right. Well, so that is quite a Batoku flop. There are three of the same color. Oh, that sucks so bad. That means I stuck at six. Unless I can get Batoku cards. Is there a way? Ah, oh, there is this dragonfly. There is, anytime you take a Batoku, no. That's it that I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there anything out there that allows you to take Batoku cards? No. Okay, good to know. Ken, your honor. Uh, Shinukami, activating, getting a sake. Building a spirit or a dragonfly, um, it'll be a spirit. And... Uh, I have very little um, that allows a invest step. Yes, yeah, step is is kind of where my head was at. Actually, points, five point. I mean, points I know, are it's, it's points are step. The points yeah. or the step. Yeah. I think I'm going to take. What does the step actually get me? I don't know. I, I'm just <laughs> the steps. 
Nope, I'm going to hold off and I'm just going to spend two sake and one jade. Five points for purple, a moment. Yep. Done. And there, and you immediately get a resource. I immediately get a resource of any kind. Woohoo! I will take a sake. Yeah, seriously, what are you doing with all that sake? <laughs> party? <laughs> uh, Japanese and then party? I, I have a dragonfly, so I'll go ahead and use it. Okay. And uh, it will get me a free crystal crystal of any kind. Um. Um. Score one point when you take a Batoku card? Yes. I suppose in theory that's more than zero points. Spend a resource? Uh, no, it's no, free. No, it's free? Okay, yeah, got it's, it. it's okay, the, one of the no discounted worries. ones. Yep. Yep. That guy flips over. Hey, Mur. My turn. I'll go with my Nizuni, Nizumi. I activate my four. I get a, a wood. wood. And I'll get a crystal. And the crystal I am getting, it's the free one. You gotta remember, yeah, even though we won't have a next round, we'll have income. Yeah, we do, mm, do right. get income right, right at the end. Oh, thank God y'all have left it for me. So, those Badoku cards suck for me. I don't know what I kind of miss them, but I'm missing one of them. So I need that dragonfly like fierceness <laughs> here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this Shinokami. Oh, I am so grateful that didn't burn me. Uh, I don't get a discount because I'm taking the butterfly one. Uh, I'm sorry, dragonfly one. I pay a resource. Two stone. A wood and a stone. Uh, I don't have that. What uh, do you I'm, do? Um, I'm taking a that. <laughs> but isn't it a discount? No, it's only a. Is it? Uh, I think it's a discount only on. I bet it's. I think it's on on either one. Because usually the little thumbs up is like superimposed over the spirit if you can only take it on the spirit. Okay, I'm fine with that. I think well, so. Either way, I'm taking that dragonfly. Yeah, like this. Fair enough, yeah, 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 you're right. There you go. Oh, that unlocks this, by the way, and I get to take a step. Mm -hmm. So the question is, oh, that's where you can get a Botoku card, that last gate. Yep. So, uh, yep. You're parked on a tour, right? Let's, uh, uh, let's go and throw that bad boy out there. So how many steps do I need to get that? I need one, one. two, three, three? Looks like three. One, two, three, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Done. Good? It's me, yeah. But did you step? Oh, yeah, yeah. I one step. There. So two. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> so. Hmm. Sure wish I had some more Batokus. But. I'm going to spend uh, one amulet, place that out as a five. I will take this one, the discounted dragonfly. Okay. I'll take the friendly Kodama and angry Kodama. Yep. And it's a discount, right? Yeah, yeah it's free. Yep. Okay. I get a point and a level one. Yep. Enjoy, sir. Uh, I need a level one. Though. Yes. Thank you. I will then um, take three steps. One, two. So that's eight points and a three amulet. Nice. Somebody's closer. Yeah. It's okay. coming. And then one extra step. I guess. All right. Be... Drive safe, Jess. Huh. Well, that's definitely doable. Yeah, I'll go Love ahead and you. do that. Okay. Sure, I'll get another couple of steps at some point. Done. That's it. Okay. That's me. So these four becomes a six with these two. Okay. And I'm going here. 
first. Which of my lovely buildings would you like to use? No, here, I'm going to give you a point, Ken. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm Cause. getting... Uh, <laughs> there you go. It doesn't make any sense. Well, actually, I'll take the step. I'll take the step, yeah. Yeah. So I go up here. And yeah, that's three, three points, points for Brown. Three gotcha. points and free building. Right? That's free building. Free building. Uh, okay, what's available to be built? That's uh, water I, uh, or squiggly? There is a squig. There are two squigglies and one water spot. Three squig... Hold on. That's all that's left. There's a red one too, but all of those can be built. Okay. So let's do the, the points one. Okay. Yeah, that one. And that can goes, it is gray, that can goes here. Mm -hmm. Put your marker That's on for it. free. And that's two for purple. Uh, nope, sorry, two for brown, sorry. Yes, Okay. that's for free. Got you. And that's the action of uh, going here and uh, because I did this gate. Taking his uh, step, I could Get yes. into this, uh, build the free building. And now with my six, I am doing Do both. both. Yep. yep. I am getting the chip crystal. So that's free because you get a discount of one. Yep. Unlike a die. Okay. What, I, I, and during income phase. it gives me two points because anytime I build get a crystal, crystal get two okay. points, yeah. Uh, you are brown. Okay. And the building, it is going to be. That is going to be super appealing for everybody. But that one. Yes. There is blue available? Yep. There's two You're spots. There. Oh, yep. there. For sure. Okay. So two. With one discount. So I don't pay a sake. It's two sackets and one. And I have two, a stone, two, two, stone, two, stone, and two stone. Oh, yep. it's a stone. Oh, my gosh. I cannot build it. That's it. Oh, that goes back. Yep. In that case, would do you, you rather want to not, not spend? make a six? Yeah. yeah. It's with the five works. Yeah, with five works. Yep. So and you, get a one. you spent you spent two ones, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah. I recover one. That's yeah. it. Okay. Yep. Okay. I had a plan. Oh. Let me figure out what the hell it was. Definitely want to get a building out there, but I could do this a couple different ways. Okay, so I am in no rush for any of those cards. Okay, sorry, give me a second. I have to remember what the hell it was I was trying to do. <laughs> you do you. I know I need steps. I mean, I could go ahead and do that now, but I definitely want to get that building. So let's not overthink it and let's just get the building up. So we'll go ahead, Ooh. put that there. That gives me a Kodama and a building. What's what? up? Brown back to spaces on Koda track. Oh, hold on. Um, where was that building? Here. Yeah, right there. Yep, yep. Which means it's underneath as well. Thanks, Fernando. It? Are you sure? I think so. Okay. And they can tell us if that's wrong. Okay. I get one Kodama. Anywhere. I mean, let's just solve that problem right out. Mm. And then uh, building a building, it's going to be this one. It's two rocks. Here you go. There and there. It can go there or up there. Mm -hmm. I don't think it matters except for moving along on the track. Let's just go ahead and get there. Yep. You do get an amulet as well. Thank you. That's always important. <clears throat> hmm. uh, so let's see. I got that. Right, that was that. I built a building, that, done, go. Cool. 
<laughs> By the way, Murr has played a board game consecutively every day for 2,708 days. That is something I can only aspire to. That's awesome. Uh, That's staggering. Oh my gosh. I do not have a lot of exciting options. So I'm going to play Yamaoba right. and get two resources. Done. They're going to be some combination of sake and jade. <laughs> Do you when, have something that scores that? When you can't build buildings, there's no point in getting wood or stone. Eh, fair point. Fair so. Point. Yep. I'll... There's no rush, actually, but I'm going to cross the river. Yep. Makes sense. And one of the things I'm, I'm going to be doing... This. Yep. Okay. The end. That's it. Chungi. Okay, at this point, I don't think I have a lot that I'm doing. I need at least two steps. But... One, two... Get a Botoku card and add two. I mean, I guess... If I were four, it would be one, two, three, and they just go. Okay, fine. Talk myself into it. Spend two of these. Turn a four into a six. That's four steps. Mm -hmm. Going up north. And he's just, he's going to come out right straight below me. Nope, right there. So now four steps. One, two, three, and up. Four. Six points and two. You have one here. Oh, that's actually the wrong... Uh, I, I know I have that. Yep. Okay. Uh, you know what? Back. Just give me that back. Yeah, yeah. let's start there. One, two, straight up. Nope. Three. Back up. One, up. Two. Okay. Because that's going to give me the gate in four yeah. points. Yeah, yeah. What's also... Yeah. Yeah, so... Is, uh, two of these? Yep. One, two... Three and four, and now let's hope it's one of the ones I don't have. It's not. That sucks. You got all the you got all the tough ones already. Yeah, I can't figure. Somebody figure. Somebody tell me what one I'm missing. Like it would just save me some effort. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Sorry about that. Those are the six that I have, and that's what I drew. So I'll go ahead and add that one onto the end, right there. That gets buried. And you so that's two steps. Two steps more. I mean, I guess we'll go here. Because you cannot take both spots on right. those. You can't. So that's going to be five points, a level two amulet, and a resource of my choice. Okay. Which will be uh, Sack a wood. Because if not, King is going to take it. <laughs> uh, and five points. Yeah. Done. Okay. Back to me. My turn. Oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. All good. Was, yeah. Uh, let's go. With, go on with the six action here. Um. So. Um, the free action I'm going to take is the Kodama. I'll move that guy up one. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get both of those at a discount. Um, but discount doesn't really mean anything for the Dragonfly. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one of the guys down there. I'll take the free step guy. He's free. He scores a point. The f Hold on. Spirit that gives me a free step. Free step. God, okay, right yep. there. Okay, yep. it's free and a point. Yeah, the I got step's going to go here. And it's the two more there. points. I and got the two amulet. more. Yep. And there. Okay. Um, and to... then I'm going to unite him with the dragonfly, which gives me two Kodama steps. And one back. And one back. So let's go two up here. And God, that doesn't really help that much. Um... You can push me back to try and make it easier for yeah, you. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. 
Uh, move yourself back there, one. I, I, no, you moved me back. I can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I get one more dragonfly of my choice. I don't really see... Get a resource? I certainly don't need a three amulet, so I'll take a resource. The resource is going to be a sake. Oh, uh, you don't get that yet. Oh, uh, yes, you do. Yeah, I do. Carry right? on, carry on, yep. carry on. So that's, that's that. The end. Okay. So I'll play this card. That is another Kappa. So this activates this. That allows me to move one of my Kodamas. And it is going to be... Uh, One point, this strip from. <laughs> I'll move this. No, that's stupid. I'll do this. The Kodama is because of this crystal, and then I can slip one of my pilgrims. I'll do it here. And I have two steps that I cannot take, or I could, but I'm gonna just take one. This guy, that gives me two points, and two more Kodama moves or bumps. Got two points. That are going to be... Up. No, uh, FYI, so I normally don't like using these on stream, but you're talking about resources for everybody out there. I don't tend to use these. They all have the three multipliers, and in a yeah. three-player game, it really becomes kind of a cow's opinion. It's... So, yeah. I have two more bumps for this, and it is going to be... Let's... I'm first there. Uh, Currently. It's going to be one. Mm. It's going to be... Yeah, that puts you in first from two yep. zero. Okay, done? Uh, I think so. So I qualify for all six of my cards there. That is crazy, Edward. That is really... I want more, though, because I, I, I still have a little bit of, like, fudge factor in that regard. Um, okay. I, in a perfect world, I want another Batoku card, which yeah. means I need a one of the bases there, mm -hmm. which means, you know what, we're not going to mess around. I'm just going to go and play the Shinokami. It gives me a Jade when I do so, which I'm immediately... Go ahead yep. and keep it. Yep. Uh, gonna spend it, and I will spend the extra sake. Yep. To get this in three points. And you get. And your... then I will join them, and by joining them means the sixth match. I yep. will get a kadama and two butoku cards. Mm -hmm. The kadama. Um, let, I mean, four is better than zero. Yep. So. One time. One time. That ain't it. That ain't it. Grr. But you know what? If worse comes to worse, that might actually be useful to be able to sleep one of those. So mm. I'll grab that one. That's so frustrating. Glory <laughs> to Rome. I'm 0 for 2 or 0 for 4, I guess, right? We're right in the... In the border. So I'm going to cross the river here and take this into my hand. We'll allow it. Oh, okay. So that five. Take one there. If the arm doesn't reach, you must besiege. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm missing the ray card. Okay, so is that like the first one you got, I think, over there? That no? one? Second one, then. That one. You, yeah, yeah, there it is. There's three of them. Yeah, well, I ain't it's seen It's not like it. it's super rare. Oh, I'm going here with my five. I oh. don't even spend anything with my five, so I get a discount in the crystal. I'll get the God, one so crystal. Dumb. That's one. Oh, that's one, so it is just one resource. It's going to be wood. Just made a mistake, but it's oh. all good. And uh, because I did uh, the crystal thing, it gives me two points. Doing the, the crystal action. Two points, got you. And uh, with the five, I could get three points. Why not? 
Yeah. And, and it's yeah, me? Yeah, so, seriously. Yep. Yeah. Uh, up to 66. Okay. Done? I think so. All right. Well. Why does it give you three points? Uh, this building. Oh. Yeah, just straight up three that's points. Nifty. All right. Well, I would like to travel twice mm -hmm. at least. Then I have that one sleeping, and that's eight. So two. One, two, three, four. If I could travel six. Seems ambitious. Mm. Um, don't need the dragonfly. A base, I guess I could. Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out what, I don't care about the buildings. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a couple of steps on a Kadama track, I guess. But honestly, that's okay. I could do that. So then I'm just looking at, oh, that's two steps right there, and then that. I guess that's what we do. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's a three. Do I want it a five or a six? I don't see the six being valuable. I'll just turn the three into a five. Mm -hmm. That'll go there. Yep. And purple, you get a point and a level one. Great. I'm going to get two steps, and I'm going to get two resources. Uh, let's go ahead and give me two things. Mm -hmm. Follow your heart. How about two rocks? Perfect. <laughs> uh, the two, two steps. steps are going to be over here, so that's one, two. Okay. That's five points. That's five points, so we don't forget it. There, and then I'm going to go ahead and sleep that there. Yep. And then uh, up one Kadama, down two Poof. Kadama. <laughs> up one, uh, and you can do it in any order, right? How about mm -hmm. this? One, two, oh, one. Boy. <laughs> oh, boy. That was nasty. Me? Yeah. Playing Shinokami. Hey, an amulet. <laughs> I really wish there was something to do with these at the end. We have no. Uh, again, the the better yeah. you get at this game, the more you. Yeah. I'm gonna spend a jade to get that guy, which gives you a resource or wait for it, a level one amulet. <laughs> uh, I think I'll take a resource. <laughs> I also am unlocking uh, Your that. So well, yeah, dies unlocking, yeah. and I get two more resources. So three all day. Uh, yeah, so taking two sake. Oh, three all day. So you another jade. There we go. Not bad. Useful. Okay. okay. I'll play this guy. Activate this. I'll get a wood. And a level and one. Level yep. one. Done. How many cards do I have left? I have five, so I'm good. Okay. Um, so what the hell do I want to do with my last... I think... Mm. One, two, three. I need four. I could do that for the six. Does that make sense? No, not yet. So instead... We'll go and cross. Yep. And I'm taking the two. Yep. Ooh, I only have one left. Ooh. It's only worth like two points, whereas that's worth more. I will take the vision card. Figure that out in a minute. And then uh, step on a Kadama track. I mean, we'll inch our way up. That's me, but I gotta figure this out now. Um, this is a five. Spending yeah, one of my many, uh, many amulets. Uh, <coughs> Where did he just go here? It blocked you out of something you needed. <laughs> what I was gonna do. Oh. Um.
Ironically, I can't really use those steps. Um, but the amulets are totally worthless. So... Butterfly? Or dragonfly? Or nothing. Because you may activate a building. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Paul's reminding you, Gonzalo. There's a board for that. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. No, you're not going to activate them? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll do that. Oh, because it's a freebie. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't have any awake guys. Yeah. So no I movement is possible. I don't have any more of these. So. Well. Hmm. Um, I do get two resources, though, which is <laughs> definitely very exciting. exciting. I think it's half point yeah. at the end of the game. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? We'll stick with what's working. <laughs> Gonzalo? Yeah, I'll, this is useless at the end of the game, so I'll use this to make this. I won't be able to cross the river. Well, if I go there, the problem is that there is, oh, there is, but it's useless. Hmm. I'll go here. And that means that I'm going to move a Kodama yep. one step. It's gonna be this guy. Yep. And I have four steps. You do. It is. From this way, I have nothing, so I have to start from here. Yep. One, two, three, and four. And that's a point and a last dragonfly. Yep. That's a point. Got it. Edward? Uh, so here's the interesting thing. The first place at the end of the game is worth three points. Mm -hmm. So if nobody... Right? So basically what I'm trying to figure out is... there, there You all have all placed your dice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my option is go here, possibly get a six-point vision card that mm -hmm. I think I, I can... Still, I have room to be able you to get a chance. Them. Yep. So that would be... Three point, maybe nine points, right? Maybe. Or, and it takes three away from Ken. Mm -hmm. Or, I go ahead and take the guaranteed eight points. And I think I'll go ahead and take the guaranteed eight points. So I'm going to turn this two into a six. There. Uh, I'll go ahead, do, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, but, uh, yeah, no. I mean, I'll take the amulet. I got it. Uh, I, mm. Yeah, that's interesting, you right? You should. I think okay. I should, right? Yeah. What would I get? It's a point. point. Yeah. Yep. So give you a point, and then let me look. I mean, I'm in first. That would give me first there. That would give me second. It's a two-point jump, two-point jump. Sure. There. So there, you got your point. Uh -huh. Four steps, mm -hmm. four steps with my last one. You all the way to the end. One, two, three, and four. That's a triple and eight points, right? Oof. Yep. Twelve points. Eight to ninety, eighty-one. Sorry. Yep. There you go. Done. Ken. Um. Not competing here. Am competing here. Not really. I mean, maybe. I'm, I mean, probably not really. I don't, I'm not. Uh, nor am I. And the Zumi, I don't think actually, it's, it's not that many points for me. It's like a point to get that. So the other thing is probably worth more. So we maybe are competing. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because you I'm didn't, taking, I damn sure I'm was. That. So that hurt. Because that, so, that took, that might have taken like eight points from me. Ah, uh, glory to Rome. So <laughs> I'll take this Kodama up here. Ah. And two gold cards. I mean, makes sense, right? Yeah. No, I'm just... <laughs> 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 so, the last thing I am doing... I can be petty. Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm, it's, uh, I'm not above that. And it's okay. How Meanwhile, many um, of these am I on? One, 
two. Yeah, that one's better. And you said these are these are independent of the these. Yes. Yeah, so you so would need like three bottoms, good. and yeah. one of those can count for that. Yeah. That's the only place that you can double up things. Yeah, actually, yeah. Four, four bottoms. Oh, yeah, you need four yeah, bottoms, but you have. Yeah, yeah, you have plenty. So, last thing I can do, I'll cross the river with this. It becomes a four. One thing is slipping this guy here. And the other thing, I'm getting vision cards. So there's an X, technically, on that, which yeah. is going to matter. Yep. Yep. Because I can't do that. Yep. Uh, literally, last thing I can do for the game is this. And the Botoku cards were two. Nozumi ain't worth squat. So, sounds like I'll take the Botoku card for two points. Sounds like a plan. You don't have to travel on it. You just got to yep. be there. So, I'm done. My game's over. So, this means you need two, three, and four. Yeah, which okay. I have. So I'll okay. discard them yeah. all. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Take a resource? Yes. No one worked. Yep. And I can cra I cross the river here. I'm pretty so it's I'm losing three points by doing this. Right. But I'm gonna go ahead and move up there. Oh boy. So that's two points by itself. Right. Um and then I will draw two more um gold cards. Hopefully. Actually, that was four points. Oh, right. You guys lose some, I gain some. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, I don't have any crystals required. And I've done three of these, so that one's locked. Yeah, there we go. There you go. So that was uh, definitely a net. All right. Point. So now, let me... Uh, I want to get the timing of everything right on yeah. this. Well, yeah. All right, so we go through the winter phase, which all that is is take your dice back and you can tuck a card, obviously. Yep. yep. Yeah, so I, uh, I'll score 12 for this Shinokami. It's for every um, <laughs> Motama. Okay. And I have six Motamas. So. Okay. Four for me. It is for each, uh, two for each Bitoku card. I just have two. And I'm getting 12 as well for for the bottoms. Um, atomic, uh, I have six, so that's 12 points yep. for that. You, do you need yeah, to move Go you? ahead, please. Thanks. There you go. Um, nothing else matters for that. So now, here are the different items to score. So you get your income, income which, oh, wait. Done. <laughs> I get a jade. I don't want to activate anything. First in turn order, because it never changed the entire yeah. game. Three points. Okay. Then, uh, Batoku. So go for it. Uh, I, have, I have three difference. So. All right. So here we go. Four points. Four points. Okay. One, two, three, and four. And two south points for me. Two. Yeah, I have you to. got a bunch of this. I, I, I do. Um, so I have a set of six and a set of three for a total of 20. Okay. 113. So you flip this. Yep. And hey, 100 points. Cool. Nice. Okay. So now uh, VP for each region of the forests, that is the Kodamas. So we'll call them off and somebody move them. Okay. We'll do them by color. So purple... You're looking at six, in third here, nothing. In first is four, in first is five, and in second is three. Okay. Then brown is second, that's four, another four, one, because don't forget about that one, mm -hmm. uh, nothing, and one. Okay. And then for yours truly is two. You gotta move your own. Oh, sorry, okay. Uh, two, five. five, I got you, three, five, two, and three, and three. Okay. Uh, that's D, E, uh, Iwakura. So we'll go brown first. So, 
All right, go for it. Now, wa nope. walk folks through this. So we are talking now... E. Okay, the, the stones? Yeah. The rocks? Yeah. So I, uh, this is multiplied by three. So each of these icons in my cards, it's three points. Yep. I have one, two, three, four. And this wild is going to be that specific icon. So five times three. It is 15 points. Okay, good job. 15, 99. Okay. okay. And? And the other one, it is uh, related one with. For every with, spirit. See, and I just have one. Oh, uh, you have a wild, so that counts. Oh, yeah. Two. 101. Okay. Got you. There we go. I'm glad I passed. Yeah. I don't know what the is there for the guy, but, Oh, there it is. Got I couldn't figure it out. All right, purple. So I have a I get I score three points for every water or red building. Yep. I have six water or red red buildings on the board, so that's eighteen, 18. for that. That seems good. So ninety to one hundred eight. One hundred eight. Um, and then I score one point for every Nezumi or Mama Uba, and I have three of those, so three. Okay. And it does not matter if they're tucked or not. So that's so you said three. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, for mine. I don't think I did so hot on this. I have not counted yet. Uh, I'm getting for everyone that has a leaf, I'm getting four points and three points for a squiggle. So, three for a squiggle, four for a leaf, four for a leaf, so that's 11, and three for a squiggle is 14. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't do bad. One, two, three, better than I thought. 141. There you go. Uh, then, number of uh, victory points on your boards. So, Brown? Yeah. Go so, for it. Those, so, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, plus six is twenty-four. And note, you do not get the fish that are on the path for the rocks, because already got those. Yep. Yep. So 125, boom, done. Yep, and that's that. Okay, Ken. So it looks four. like 28 for me. 10, 16, 20, 4, 8. 28. Good job. 28, 39. And yours truly, we're looking at 2, 4, 6, 8. 8, 10, and 8 is 18 <laughs> to 59. There we go. Hashtag terrible teacher, 159. Ken, 139. And Gonzalo. Still. What? The peeps. Oh. And oh, the, right. And oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, did I miss that? Like, yep. did I somehow miss a step? It's a F. Yeah. Oh, I did miss that. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay, value of your dice plus your number of resources, then divide by four. Yeah. Okay, so for instance, I have 13 in pips, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 divided by four. That's four. One, two, three, four. Sorry. 29, so seven. Seven. One and six, and? 10, 14, 15, 16 is going to be four. Yep. One, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, yeah. 163, yep. 146, 129. Mm -hmm. Done. All right. So that's Batoku. Um, yeah. Well, Ken, we'll start start with you since Gonzalo has all the experience. So we'll get to him next. Yeah, so I was curious to see what it would be like to try a building heavy strategy and okay. it worked because I had a rock. Sure. I've never tried this, the, but the rock with the buildings. I'd never tried this before. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Um, when you build the buildings, you have to rely oh. on other players a little bit more. Back up. Okay. No, we didn't. Vision cards. Oh, oh right. Oh, that's I, I, I totally butchered this. So go yeah. ahead. Go. 20, 24. <laughs> okay, and you qualify for all yours. Yeah. Golly, uh, 70, 70. 170. Yep. Leader in the clubhouse. In 16. Bottom. 1 and 15. Um, I think I qualify, but let me double check. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 completed ones. I have 6, so we're good there. Yep. I need 1, 2, 3, 
four resource wait five one resources. two five resources you i have, have that i need one at a gate and one there you uh, two it. there and we're good there yep uh butoku cards i need four i'm good crystals one two three you have plenty of crystals and just bases one two three yeah. I'm, I'm and that's it. And in buildings, buildings you, you have three. In buildings, have three. I, yep. and I have four out yeah, there. Yeah, nicely so, done. Uh, 10, 20, 32, 38. Whew. That's awesome. 38. Uh, 201. Oh, my gosh. First time I see somebody passing. Okay. So thank you. Missed miss the visions. Yep. Thanks, Shrey. And uh, wow. Okay. So anyway, get back to what you were saying. Building yeah, so the buildings. Strategy. Yeah. So right. that yeah. was kind of interesting. Um, there are absolutely, this is not just a tactical game, although I think it's got a lot of tactical considerations. Yes. You can actually play for certain strategies. Um, buildings are interesting. I think you need help from other players to make that work. And how so? Because part of the value of buildings is getting bumps from people using them. Uh-huh. And if that's not mm -hmm. maximized, I don't mm -hmm. think you. I don't think you can compete as easily with those. Um, but it was fun. Kind of, kind of fun to clear out this row. Um, this game played very differently from the last two times we played. Yeah, it. Agreed. For example, there's four rocks left. That's true. I think we used. I think we took all the rocks in the in first both, two rounds. In both other games. Yeah, I, I, yeah, those got hoovered up, and yep. then, yeah, I just, I basically. Avoided rocks for the most part. I mean, I think what we figured out after a couple of plays is unless you can maximize them, why? Right. Right. It, you're more off, more more better off maybe with a Kodama. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. So there's so many interlocking pieces. I think we're kind of starting to figure it out. Two more plays, I think I would understand it even better. That there's a lot. There's a lot of game here. There's. Yeah, you're getting points from a different uh, a host. I mean, so many. I forgot a few of them. Yeah. Right. I will end. say, I don't think it's a coincidence that we have five total yeah. Patoku cards, yeah. and you have how many? Three, six, nine. And you won by a lot. I don't think that's a coincidence. There's a reason the game is called Patoku. And it's a path <laughs> called Patoku. Yeah. Path. Yeah. I, I think so. If again, yeah, I, uh, I agree. Yeah. yeah, it probably. I, I don't know if it was because of the Bitoku cards or the Vision cards, because you 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 accomplished a lot of. Yeah, I I mean I I came into it with a plan yeah. of I'm really gonna I'm I'm gonna try and get the full set yeah. of Bitoku yeah. cards, and you and almost did it. <laughs> well, I mean, once I realized oh, there's only one of those, I was like, well, I guess yeah, that's you gonna... have a chance. And then yeah. and then the Vision cards, it's just the thing is the Vision cards. They're just the straight six points for stuff you're going to be doing anyway. Yeah, so they're great. Yeah. They're great. And, or you four. Wanna, you want to get as many as you can. Yeah. And, so. and I mean, I obviously, seven seemed reasonable to me. I thought I could have gotten an eighth. Yeah. You blocked me out from that, which mm -hmm. I think was smart. Um, and it goes to show that I don't think turn order... Turn order can matter yep. in this game, but it's not... A complete and total impediment to being yeah. able to play well. Yep. Um, yeah, and, and regarding what Zre was asking, what we think about, like uh, the fact that things don't refill, that don't refill, yeah, immediately right, that you got to like, wait till the. I, I think that pushes you to 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 do a specific actions before somebody takes mm -hmm. them. Yep. Increases the interaction. Yeah, I think last and, time we and played turn order pressure. The turn order pressure. Yeah, Theoretically, yeah, yeah. at least, even though it wasn't a huge deal in this one, right? Yep. And yep. also, yeah, I mean, I think last time we played, we didn't have that lack of crystals, but I think we we all built a lot of crystals this time. Yeah. And uh, and the same for 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 uh, I mean, the I spirits we, and the and the and the fireflies. I, mean, I, I think we hammered all four of them, yeah. like the buildings and like all. Uh, basically, if you can One, get them, two, we tried to get them. Six. Well, there's four empty building spaces on the board. Right. So that says something. Yeah. I mean, I have six spirits. I have, have six. Six. six another three. Yeah. I mean, we those are twenty-three. That that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. But I mean, it is another. Factor you gotta take into consideration when you yeah. play this game. That's why it pushes you to go. Right. I mean, there's 16 total spirits come out. Yeah. 15 got played. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that's again, I mean, it's free stuff. 
in a sense, and it also it's helps points. with vision cards. It's points. And it's points yeah. to begin with, right? Yeah, it is, it's interesting, the flow of the game. Like, um, One thing that's funny about this game is that uh, there's this weird situation where like, there's actually a deflationary value on resources because it just, for various reasons, gets easier to have resources later in the game. Right. So resources feel super tight in the first round. They do not feel super tight in no. subsequent rounds. Oh, I mean, I, it, dep it depends on the strategy. I, yeah. I think so, I, right? I, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, I didn't have a, an engine built that allowed me uh, getting to get resources. too so many resources. So and most of the times, I was discarding the card that provides resources. Yeah. Because yeah, all the other all the other actions are sexier or that's true. You know, more, yeah, more what I was impactful whereas yeah. like, like but if this you need card, them, you the, need the, them. the Mama Uba card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or Yama Uba card. Like uh, I think because I was getting a couple yeah, of resources yeah, that yeah. It just it just for me it felt like uh, resources right. are trivial. So and then the setting up is so different each time yeah. that for instance this particular time having this particular gate with that particular building. Yeah. It was kind of a a nice uh, yeah. a nice match and and we use it a lot. I I thought it would and I mean it got me it got me points yeah. and it got me I mean I was I yeah. I, I could oh make my, gosh. my dice in the, in the whatever first, I wanted. In the first two turns, first two rounds of the game. Yeah. That building got used a lot. Yeah, yeah and it basically gave me the flexibility to Make my dice. Make your dice what you wanted. What I wanted that benefited me, but also could theoretically limit where you guys can yep. place yep. your dice yep. as well. Yep. yep. And we didn't see quite as much of that in this game as we have in the in the first two. Yep. But but I mean you, oh, yeah. even though some of it I think is because we were planning better. Probably. And yep. we could see the threat. <laughs> yes. Even when it did when it wasn't yeah. Yeah, well, you you're getting better to be more heads up than heads down in mm -hmm. what other people are doing. Uh, I like the game. I, I, I felt really overwhelmed uh, when we l originally learned the game because yeah. I was like, oh my god, there's so many terms, there's so many, just... But as y'all saw, the game's not that hard. <laughs> Take your time, uh, kind of like, uh, and this is where I, I, I kind of felt Feld meets Lacerda in that Feld, point solid, I mean, get a point for yeah. everything, and then... The Lacerda is this chains into this, chains into this, chains into that. Mm -hmm. And so, but nothing felt, I don't, I, I mean, it's a point salad, so you could make the argument that some things feel superfluous or you're just, yeah. you could have, could have developed it out. But it all works together, mm -hmm. and it works pretty seamlessly. Feels, it feels, the, the feeling of the game is very, <laughs> like, I, I, very enjoyable. I mean, there are moments when you're like, oh, no. <laughs> But it it does I, it, the flow feels good, right? Right. Like so, I, I don't I don't know that like even the elements that may be superf superfluous, they still feel fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No, I, I think it's I think it's developed where it needs to be developed. It's yeah. just there's a lot going on yeah. in this. Yeah. But the other thing I'd say though, and this is where we, I mentioned, like I think there is a little there's enough theme mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that the rules hang together. Yeah. In that way. Kind of yeah. like the best Lacertas, where even though there's a ton of rules overhead. Like the gallerist, you're like, oh, okay, I kind of understand why that would work that mm -hmm. way. And it makes what are really, like, objectively a lot of rules yeah. easy to swallow. And I think this game kind of does that, too. Probably if you are a Gimli Universe fan, mm. all the rules are easy to digest. Because of the theme, right? I mean, it, yeah. I mean, let's face it, the majority of our group tends to be more uh, mechanism-based, mm -hmm. so it's less about the theme. But kind of like how uh, uh, Martin, the Elder, had <laughs> taught Brass Birmingham, yeah. that uh, how the theme kind of fits yeah. the, the mechanisms. It does in this, even yeah. though it's a fantastical-type mm -hmm. setting, it works. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, everybody can understand people walking on a path. Yep. Or people walking on a path. Or I go to this spot, oh, and there's a building there I can use. The, I mean, it all kind yeah. of makes sense, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think it's a really good game. The artwork is, I don't want to say garish, but 
During the game, I never once look at the artwork in this. I'm looking at, from what I mean by that is like the background stuff. Yeah. Like it, it's crystal clear what the action spots are, and you know you're trying. It's a euro, so you're trying to yeah. You know, find the most efficient, get your engine going, and looking at the action spots, and so it's clear. There's no issue with. Yeah, oh, I think wow, you, that's really busy. If you or, really dig this art style and this world, like there's probably some cool Easter eggs all over. Oh, the no doubt. I have not noticed any of that stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah, because that's not really what we focus on. But as busy right? as the design is, I think the graphic design is good enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To kind of like, you know, like oh, you. It's clear that there's two dice yeah. spots there. Yeah. Right. You know, it's nice that there's like. A different color every. I mean, yeah, I think yeah, there's, yeah. there's some really thoughtful graphic design that kind of makes that. There, there, there are little things that we're going to nitpick. Yeah. Like, I, I don't like that the individual uh, koi, it should have a one there, yeah, even yeah, though it's should. just probably just should. because the other ones do. So yeah. that kind of. Uh, and then there was uh, the the buildings are a little hard to differentiate mm -hmm. on that. I can't speak to colorblind issues. Uh, but outside of that, I think overall the thumb could be a little bit clearer yeah. uh, as far as is it just this one or is it both. But right. for the most part, it works really well. It does. They did a really good yep. job yep. with this. Yep, agreed. Um, yeah, I'd happily play again. I, I think mm -hmm. I, I think there's more I have to figure yep. out yep. about yep. the yep. game. Oh, sure. I, mean, yeah. I, I scored really well, but that was from really... Oh, it's really interesting. Like, this is our third game. That's my high score for the three games. Yeah, and same. And I got beat I mean, by 30 points. So. I mean, even though, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing. Right. I don't know if things just broke right, or I don't oh. think y'all played poorly. No, I think, you, I think you played well, though. Yeah, you played really well. So, yeah. I mean, that's what's possible. And had I drawn even better, that would have been like, what, another six points, I guess, for yeah. 16, 22. But, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it would have been, so net four points, whatever. Yep. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, let me let me see. Nobody spent a pilgrim to activate it. Nobody burnt pilgrims. Nope. We nope. were anti-burning at the stake. No, nope. and I sure did need every single one uh, that I had. Actually, I mean, yeah, seriously, I've never seen these so populated. Yeah, yep. and uh, on that note, I don't think that I really in any way benefited from y'all competing on the right and me not on the left. I didn't feel like it yeah. was. Did y'all feel constrained in that regard? He probably lost a couple of points along the way. That's fair. Yeah. I prioritized it enough that I, I mostly was able to do what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Gonzalo probably lost yeah, out I on could, a few points. I could reach the top, I mean the extreme, if I could have the Bitoku yeah. card. Because I was first, yeah. but I had I, I got stuck there because I, I hadn't, I and, and you passed me bit. like... Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, maybe you lost four net yeah. points or something. Not a huge deal. So Shrey okay. points out, says, uh, the three versus four player scale with four players, nobody gets locked out of crossing the river with all the dice. Or nobody must get locked out. I still think there are situations where you might choose, like two people have already crossed so, okay, and go, so go here. into a third so, spot. So what you're saying is, because this, ah, come on. Get yeah. So these are three spots, right? Right. So... There are three spots, so in other words, you can always move up, I guess, right? But like, even if three, like, is particularly with the with the walking yeah. mechanism, I think even if three people have crossed, there are situations where you might be like, I just want those three steps. That's right. what. I, that's even what though I can't. That's what I just did at yeah. the end, right? Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's so, the same situation. Then yeah. With and and while we're at it, just to show the difference here, so there's five spots. As yep. opposed to four, and then for the rocks, that flips over, and there are nine instead of seven. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah. it's it's really cool how. Oh, how, and like, the and that that path. It's all scale. It's, yeah, it's yeah. all it's all pop out. It's a double layered board, and right. it's it's all sort of subtly scaled, and you flip it over for a two player version. Yeah. Great. And yeah, and the other board just it has less yep. stuff. Fewer, fewer, right. fewer, yep, spots fewer spaces. And everything, yep. So. Yeah. All right. There we go. Um. Cool. Uh, yeah, Max says this feels like a point seller Euro game. I mean, it does, but heavier than. But I mean, compared to Castles of Burgundy, where there, I mean, 
The only interaction is, is somebody going to take the thing I want before I take it? Yes. There's a lot more interaction, both I positive agree. and negative in yep. this game, yep. which I, 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 just, I, I just like that better. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the negative interaction works, like being able yeah. to push somebody back mm -hmm, mm -hmm, on yep. the Kadama track. I yep. think it makes that competitive, or more, every one of them. Your fight, it's a tug of war constantly, especially in the second half of the game. And also about just the competitiveness of taking the buildings, taking the crystals, taking all of that and timing that. It forces turn order, yeah. theoretically, to be right. important. Right. Uh, it all, and with more players, there's more stuff, but it also, that's more turns happening before you as later, mm -hmm. it, the later in turn order Particularly you go. Particularly the way so, comboing works, right? Like right. you could imagine like, oh, I want to take a spirit, but I'm not going to take it this round. Yeah. And then Which by the time it comes back around, if somebody got some sixes and doubled up on things, yes, all of a exactly. sudden, poof, oh my god, how did that not get back to me, right? Yeah. And also the cards don't scale, so how do y'all feel, of, so that, I don't feel great about that, um, the fact that there's one of those Just harder in the game, to get. it's not from skill, Yeah. I, I drew it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be honest. I hadn't grokked that there was a difference in distribution. Of I didn't those at until all. somebody pointed that out. Until, until I just we sort assumed of they were it. all the same. I figured they were roughly the same too. They yeah. are not, and it's called out in the rule book. So there you go. But Another. I, so there's just one person who can get the full set. Yeah. And you would imagine in a four-player game, because there's also I think there's another kind of card that only has two. So yeah. Right. It's yeah. just so, going to be really hard for anybody to get to seven. Yeah, and that just doesn't feel great, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I my you. thinking is, indulge me here, right? Yeah. If this is out there in the first round, turn order is random. Yep. So you play a card. You're the first to play a card and unlock a die. You're the first to put a die out. Mm -hmm. You're a first to cross the river just to get the damn card because, ha-ha. Yeah. Through no skill of yours, through right. no... That Although doesn't I, feel good. I will say, so let's say it comes out here. Okay. Where your action is get resources, which I think, generally speaking, is the least powerful of the forest area actions. Okay, right? sure. So, like, you sacrifice action tempo to get that. Is it worth it instead of doing these or these, which seem more yeah, powerful. Yeah, I mean, I don't right? know. I, I haven't played it enough. Yeah. I'm just saying the feeling of this. I'm the one that got it. And even so, I'm like, oh. Yeah. You know, that didn't feel great. Yeah. And then somebody else brought up the other uh, thing that was kind of, I was thinking about was, you know, uh, late in the game, oh, hey, I'm going to cross the river, do this, draw vision cards, because there's no penalty for it. Because if, if you don't like what you draw, get no a resource. Way. Yeah. Right? Um, and the fact, I mean, I guess there's a penalty in that you're not placing a pilgrim, pilgrim down here. I guess yeah. you're not getting a rock. But a right. rock is theoretically a point or two as it mm -hmm. goes longer on. Yeah. I mean, you can place the rocks in any order. So if you yeah. do this one here first and this one here next and maximize those, like that probably is the right way to do it. I suppose yeah, so. But. Um, but. The yeah. bit, like you can just oh look I happen to draw the right thing that I've already done <laughs> so there's six points or four so I would say those are probably the two biggest yeah like hmm, I'm not sure about that feeling I, yeah. I mean just trying to yeah. give it balanced wise yeah yeah, I, yeah but I, I'm totally fine with the stuff not refilling because hey get there sooner I will say yeah on the receiving uh, being on the receiving yeah. end of not getting that yeah. didn't particularly feel bad because you weren't going for them. I wasn't going for him. That's right. What, I, would would you feel the same if you were? Probably, is the probably question, not. Right, and the fact that I got it because we, you know, well, yeah, and, and also because those were paying attention. But it's right? we were it's, like, it's that? just right. six yeah. points different difference with the second with the other set. It, yeah. it is. I mean, is, you are the only it's one who nothing. can reach those twenty two, and nobody else can or, complete another set. I guess I can make the argument if I get it early. I guess that's the direction I'm going, and you know what yes. direction you're not going in? Right. That. Which yep. may actually, yep. which yep. benefits yep. you doubly, right? Or yep. or doesn't hamper you, and it allows you, ah, I'm going to get right. enough Botoku to cross the bridges, and that's that, right? Mm -hmm. So which maybe pretty much maybe, what I did. Right. Maybe that works yeah. as a balancing act on that as well. Yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, and you can't, right, and the fact that 
you don't know what the draw is going to be for next round. And, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. then again, the catch or the solving for that is okay. Make sure you're higher in turn order. Right. Right. Yeah. I never regretted being first in turn order. That's certainly the case. Oh, I reckon not. But it I never was. really bit you being last. I, checks out. So. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. That is uh, yeah. Bitoku, so good stuff. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Sorry YouTube had an issue, apparently, during the stream. If you all enjoyed it, find value in what it is we're doing. Uh, give it a thumb, subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you get notified whenever we go live. And if you think it's worth a couple bucks supporting, certainly would appreciate that, y'all. It keeps the content coming. Um, so over on patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Be back tomorrow night with Autobahn. And then at some point this week, uh, Birds of a Feather, because PAX East, so we'll see. Because cool. T's in town, um, and speaking of which, i got to bug out for that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks to y'all for taking the time to do this. I'm Edward. Ken. Gonzalo. All right, and Gonzalo, thanks for... Uh, oh, my yeah, pleasure. great, man. So, Thank you. My yeah. pleasure. Yeah. I can't... You, you said the designer's next game is... Uh, uh, it's called uh, Sabika. Sabika. Sabika? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what is it? It is about... Uh, so the designer is from Granada, that is in the south of Spain. Okay. Andalusia. And uh, the game is about where... I mean, the time by the time when the inv invasion uh, of the south of Spain from the North Africa and uh, when the cathedral in Granada was built. So it is, it is a nice rondel action. Okay. Uh, it is really, really cool. It's a little bit heavier than this guy. Okay. And uh, particularly, I like it even more. Mm. Right. Wow. <laughs> any, any idea on a Some time frame? Like, I, I, I know nothing I, except from... I you... have no... I, I know that it is already uh, official, uh, yeah. you know, um, by... The, I don't recall the... Publisher. The publisher. Okay. I think it's a Spanish. It's not the Vir. It, okay. it, is, it, is, it is a Spanish uh, well, publisher. Well, I'm looking forward to it. But uh, yeah. it is it's cool. really, really cool. Cool. All right. Thanks for that. All yeah. right. Y'all have a good night. Be kind to one another. Be safe out there. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye. What's the name?